Here we go, boys. Welcome to the biggest tournament of 2023 so far. Battle of Legends Top 8 online event. As you can see, look at the screen right now. Look what we got, boys. We got my man Destroyer coming in for the co-commentary. Had to get him on, of course. The hypest commentator in the scene. Let's go. How you feeling, Destroyer? How you feeling, boys? Yo, wh what is up, Wazminator? Everybody tuning in today for some Mortal Kombat 11 action. I'm excited. Wazminator told me there's going to be a lot of leche that's going to be flying all over the screen. So I came equipped with my umbrella. Wazminator, <laughs> I'm ready for this hype. Mate, I know you're more of a Mortal Kombat X guy, but there's definitely going to be some really oh, good MK11 no. uh, matches for this event. No, so. no, nonsense, nonsense. nonsense. Listen, I, <laughs> I, I like both the games, Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat 11. I have no B for the titles, but... At the end of the day, Mortal Kombat X is the better game. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Hey, man. That's, a, that's, a, that's fine. I, I, I respect the opinion. Um, and I was going to mention anyway, <laughs> before we get into the MK11 stuff, I might as well get in right now for the, so it's early in the VOD. Destroyer does a lot of MKX events. So if, you, if you're an MKX guy, definitely check out Destroyer as well. But um, anyway, let's get it straight. We're going to pretty much jump straight into all the matches immediately. If you want to see the bracket, there's a pinned comment on the chat that you can look at the top if you want to see the bracket right now. Um, we have eight pretty much of the best plays in NA as we, at this moment, at this current moment, eight of the best plays in NA for this event. So it's going to be a crazy one. We had wow. Yesterday we had top 32. Well, there was actually 120-something plays in the event, but we streamed all the top 32. So uh, we're going to get straight into top eight. Yo, Layla with the $10 said, Destroyer the Goat. Thank you so much, man. Destroyer the wow. Goat. Wow. Huh? Let's go. Thank you so thank much, you, Thank you. Thank you. And I got to know who's in this top eight tournament. You know, I'm coming in here blindsided. I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that there's going to be a lot of blood on the screen in a couple minutes here. Yeah, so we got some uh, we got some really good some really good plays in here. So in the winner side, we have Mighty Unjust, who is a household name in MK11. Probably the most the most consistent player in the game, one of the most consistent. We have Aztec as well, really good Kotal Khan. Uh, one thing about this top eight is I'm pretty sure there's, there's at least two Kotal Khan, so we're going to be seeing him quite a bit. And then um, the other side of winners, we have Tweety and King Gambler. So again, really household names at this point of the um, of the community. Tweety and King Gambler are also training partners, so they have to kind of go against each other, which is interesting in first side of winners. And then if we move on oh, to the wow. loser side, moving on to losers, we have Pop Tart, another really good Kotal. Um, and then we have Scar, who is definitely the best Jade player in the world right now. And then I think for the last the last side of losers, it is Hijinx, really good Jackie player going up against Sunio, uh, the Robocop, slash whoever he feels like playing on the day. So um, I'm going to quickly set up the room. I've just set it up now. It's just Legends if you want to join. And then I'll, I'll get all the players in and we'll start the matches pretty much straight away. Okay, yeah, this should be very exciting. I mean, that lineup of names you just told me, they all sound super deadly. Uh, I believe Scar is the, uh, the the crazy Jade player. Yeah, man. And just, just ev yeah, everyone else you mentioned, man, it, it's going to be a bloodbath for sure. So everyone tuning in right now, you better buckle in, get your snacks, <laughs> get hype because it's going down any second here. I, I was trying to like, log in online, but it turns out I had an update for this game. Oh, my God. So... Yeah, it's like 18 seconds. Yeah, that's cool. 18 we'll seconds we'll left. We'll so, you know, no. While we wait, how's we'll, everyone we'll, in the chat we'll going? We'll be here momentarily. Yeah. What time is it for everybody watching right now in the chat? I see you guys. We already got 200 people coming through. I'm going to tweet. I haven't even tweeted out that we're live. So let's get all that going. I got my check on Gambler. Okay. Who are you guys going to think? Who you guys think going to take this one? Who do you guys think is going to take it? Let me know. It's 1 a.m.? Is it really? Wow. What's up? Uh, Do we Sims? have any uh, any uh, gas gas farts cabal players in this? Uh, no, we don't actually. No cabals, no cetrions either. Maybe Scar might wow. bring out. The, Scar might bring out the cetrion. He did yesterday once, but he probably won't. What, what about what about Jackie Briggs? Is she? You think she's gonna be making an appearance? We'll see. We'll see her maybe once or twice. Definitely for sure. Um, she. Okay, now she, we talking. She showed up quite a bit yesterday, of course, as you'd expect in a high level MK twenty. Um, as well as, you know, the classic Kotal Khan. He's been showing up quite a bit lately yeah. too. He's been out there a lot. Very actually. nice. But um, but yeah, we're gonna just we're just waiting for um, what are we waiting for right now? Uh, just to get into the room and then destroy it again to the room and then we'll start. But um, yeah, big shout out to everyone right, that well, played yesterday too. It's just legends, bro. If you just look for legends, it should be somewhere there. Legends. Yeah. I'm feeling like a legend right now. Exactly. Because the, so the hype that's legends. about to go down is it, making me feel like a legend. Oh yeah, hijinks is here. Oh, this is this is GG's. All right, we got the mighty this. unjust. Yes, sir. Bro, I'm All right. scared. Are we ready, boys? Should we get some matches started? Let me get these invites going, and we'll start it off with uh, 
Unjust Ooh. versus Aztec versus crazy. Who's this player in here with the 223 ping named Wasminator? I don't know. Who is that guy? 220 ping, get him out. Okay, Holy Unjust, cow. Aztec, Destroyer. Boom, sending the invites. We'll get this match started. What's the name for the next tournament? Man, that shit's going to be Battle of Legends too, bro. I don't know. I haven't thought of another name for another uh -huh. event. <laughs> Unjust taking this? Yeah. Unjust did really, really, really good in the last, um, in yesterday's matches, as well as Aztec. They both are undefeated right now. So, um, yeah, let's get yeah. both the players are and in. And what's really scary about these type of players is I feel like they're actively still grinding Mortal Kombat 11. You oh, know, yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like this game has not fallen off when it comes to online tournaments. There's a lot of, you know, people in the scene just hosting stuff from left to right. For sure, so bro. I feel like there's always opportunity to just, you know, get that grind in and, and just keep those skills fresh and ready to roll out. 100%. Like a hot yeah. cake. This game, like, like a hot cake straight from the oven. <laughs> this game, it's, it's the same as MKX, right? Like, as long as there's events happening, the games will never... They can never die, bro. Like, as long as people are doing stuff, it's, yeah. it can never die. You can always Straight keep... Up. Like, bro, like, I always use, like, Melee as an example, right? It's 20 years old, and it's at its biggest point right now in the game. So, uh, Super here we Smash go. Bros. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. All right. Super Smash Bros. Ram Ranch Edition. You ever played that one? Never played that one, bro. Are you sure that's a, actually a game? Are you ready, yeah, boys? It's one, of my, it's one of my favorites, actually. As expected, Kotal Khan by Aztec. Kano by Mighty Unjust. He actually always picks Kano against uh, Kotal from what I've seen in yesterday and today. So I think that's that's what we're going with for this one. This is the first match of top eight winner side. Aztec using Kotal, Unjust using Kano. Yo, let me get some hype Yo. in the chat. Press some buttons in the chat if you're hype right now. Yeah, this is about to go crazy. Kotal Khan, possibly the biggest nipples in Mortal Kombat 11, going up against Kano. Wow. I mean, yeah, listen, if I'm you just... have a sensitive stomach, I highly advise don't look at the screen. Interesting using the Kano. I wonder why he's used it multiple times already. I think the difference, uh, if you, if, when you see all the other Kotal players, Isaac doesn't really, doesn't command grab too much, and he uses some unique variations a lot of the time. But Unjust, so good in this matchup. He's really good at it. No, yeah, I mean, seriously, check this out, though, from Emperor Aztec. He just has him locked down in the corner, flips him out of there with a down two. Yeah, there's the air cat. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying with like the weird variation. Nobody uses that air cat except Aztec. He's literally the only one. one Which is interesting oh, nice. because I feel like that variation is, is, is kind of, you know, insane. I feel like a lot of people kind of sleep on it. You know, it goes through projectiles. It's a perfect way for Kotal Khan to get in there in, in a zoning situation. So I, I don't know why not enough people are using it, honestly. It's definitely good. It's just, I just I think it's just because it uses an ability What's slot. It? What's wrong with it? It's just because it takes up a slot, right? It's not necessary for Kotal, but it is quite good. And Aztec makes it work. But look at Unjust building up on a flawless right now. Okay, Aztec gets out of it. You think he can, he can make go. the ultimate comeback? He might be dead if he does the armor break. Okay, he didn't go for it. Nice, that was good. So he could have actually... Very nice. He could have broke out of that combo, but he decided to just save the meter. Unjust makes the right read as well. Final round, fight. That was incredible. And spitting on the ground, Kano, you dirty son of a gun. Eating an interactable out of nowhere from Portal Khan. It looks like he's going to put on that pressure. The corner lockdown is about to commence with Kano. Bro, this is just scary. Oh my god! Unjust, please let him play. Is he dead? He's not dead, right? Oh what is this? Oh my god. He's dead. Bro, Wazman, did, did you bring leches of, of, of milk for everybody? Bottles of leches for everybody? Bro, there's no did way. You, did you come equipped with that for these players? Because he's going to need it after that. There's no way he's actually dead from that. Bro, that was like, how fast was that? This happened yesterday too. How fast was that round, guys? Unjust does this every time. Like, as soon as... It's, I guess that's Kano in general, but once you get him in that corner, especially oh, whoa, with the chemical yo. burn. Yeah, you good? You didn't tell me we're going back in camera. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I was about to start scratching my butt, man. Chill. <laughs> Sorry. What's going on here? Hey, man, you got to be aware. No. My bad, my bad. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um, but yo, yeah. I mean, that, that first round right now from the Mighty Unjust is... The complete flip of, flip of a switch from nowhere. Exactly. That was insane. I Dude. think Aztec is really going to need to put his big boy pants on and get serious. Because if he doesn't, he's going to be sleeping with the fishes tonight. Here we go. This is match number two. He's still playing the same variation. And there we go. The air cat comes in clutch straight away. Yo, that was so good. Almost got the pick up. It's a little tricky, that conversion. It doesn't happen too often. Bro, this air cat is doing so much work. 
Yeah, what is going on right now? He's gonna suck him in with that, that Kano move, or whatever it's called. That one right there. Beautiful Fire pressure, board. man. I mean, this has been the, the, the whole story wow. of, of game number one. That was An incredible so flawless block. The crazy part is he actually, like, so that Kano string is plus on block. But the only way you can get out is by down one if you don't want him to, like, loop it. And Unjust making a crazy read and flawless blocking it. Like, look at Unjust with the Kano right now, looking so clean. Time's yeah, right that was right. really nice. And look at that. He's going to pull out a piece of chicken. <laughs> Bro, Kano needs to chill. He needs to chill out before he gets drop kicked by Aaron Black. More st wow. Oh, beautiful. Go for the parry straight into a down two. Just trying to put a stop at this uh, well, craziness yeah, that, that Mighty Unjust is throwing here. Oh, here we go again. We've seen Unjust have, any, have the control in the corner so many times at this point. Yeah, and that was really smart. So Kano has a really good command grab. It's not a mid, but it does kind of open up that 50-50 game. On any time it's his advantage, it's always a 50-50. But look at the pressure from Unjust, man. Nice way to get out of the corner. Yeah, and it's funny too because when you say 50-50, Kano kind of has a different 50-50 game. You know, it's not your traditional overhead low. It's more so of, you know, attack, throw, command grab. Like, this dude can just mix you up for days when he has access to that plus frame there. Exactly, yeah. And it, like you said, it's not traditional. It's not It's not like the Sub-Zero style mix-up. But the mind games behind it are always in Kano's favor, though. So it's like, it's so scary to get out of it. Even a character like Kodal with, you know, that attribute of health, it, it's still so scary. Real. And oh, look, nice. you got, uh, you, you, do you know the name of that green blue cane in the background? Isn't it like Huckleborn or something? Huckleberry? Uh, forget, I've, I've had, I've Huckle, that. Hucklehorn? Someone I know the, the chat, chat knows. Yeah, someone in the yeah, chat knows. That, that's H Huckleberry Liu Kang versus Blaze. <laughs> yeah, what a, again, unjust, he's just Huckle looking. Huckle Ah, uh, that's what it is, right. I, I didn't remember that sword, uh, I couldn't get it perfectly. But yeah, me neither. Unjust, looking so good with the Kano. Okay, Destroyer, we're going back to Cam, all right? All right, don't no, scratch yeah, anything. No, yeah, 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 dude, listen. Don't scratch listen, anything. I'm ready, my bad. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, my God. Unjust, looking so good with the Kano right now. Looking like, look, looking unstoppable with the pressure. I think it's, it might be time for the variation swap. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he needs to swap variation. Yo, Lele, okay. thank you again for the, another super chat as well. I see you, man. You put, he said, I got rent money on Kane. Are you sure you want to bet wow. your you want to bet your rent money on MK11, bro? Are you sure? I mean, let him do it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let him cook. Hold up. No, nobody's nobody's stopping him. Let's see. Is he gonna stop characters? It's not bad. Sticking with the Kodal Khan. Let's see. What's he gonna run this time? Okay, he is looking at a variation swap. Looks like he's actually gonna be going for the totem buff this time. So we don't Ooh. actually see this. We don't see this very often from Aztec. I feel like he's kind of he doesn't run the totems too often. But looks like he's going to go for the totem buff. I don't know the reasoning behind it, but it's basically just the, well, the traditional variation without the launcher. So it's, just, it's a great variation. I, I, I got to say, though, man, with the totem buff, if he managed to get all three stacks and just like a lucky touch, it could be massive damage on the screen that could just, you know, be a potential game changer sometimes. Oh, my God. Beautiful especially block, when block. you especially when you have a player that's going to be, you know, dishing out all these flawless blocks at, at crazy clutch moments. He can make this work. But I mean, this is looking like shades of the last two matches. Kano just going boss to the walls crazy here. Yeah, I mean, he's got one pressure. Buff. Looking so good. The totem buffs are really easy. Like, they have very low recovery. But the only thing is, like, Kano, Kano Ball and Bio Ball are both a threat. So it's a little scary to just kind of go for it. Yeah. Unjust. Oh, down for one. Possible. That's guaranteed. Ooh. Guaranteed. He does have Fatal Blow activated as well. I think one more touch might potentially kill or put him close to it. Yeah, one hit, one hit from Hornbuckle oh, here. Dead. Yeah, that's gonna kill. I that's think, gonna kill? I think so. It's gonna be very close. It might not. It might not. Turtle's Fatal Boy does a lot of damage though. Oh no, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Unbelievable. I can't believe it's not Butter. Aztec Ember looking Aztec. good. Yeah, staying alive. I mean, this is a first of three, right? Yep, every match is first of three. Aztec is... He's, not, he's potentially out of it. He potentially being losers after this match, but he's looking good right now. But here comes Unjust. This is where Unjust shines with Kano, though. That corner pressure. Look at the conversion. So optimal. Yeah. Nah, that was crazy. Oh this is insane. God. And the flawless block into the launcher, continuing this onslaught right now. Koro Khan is going to have to call upon the, the freaking Elder Gods if he wants to get out of this corner. Dude, you cannot wow. escape. When Unjust gets you in that corner, you cannot get out. And that's the power of Kano, though. Like, the restand... 
the, uh, the uh, can burn. Everything is so good with Kano corner pressure. It really is, and it all just loops right back to uh, some more mind games. <laughs> exactly Look at right. this. Just as we're talking about corner pressure, he's already got him in the corner. Just as I say that, though, Emperor Aztec with a command throw, switching sides. Interesting, he backed off, but I guess he just doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go anywhere near the corner against Kano, right? He's too scared to go to that corner, and I don't blame him. He will be. He will be stuck there if he gets in the corner again. Oh, nice forward. Playing it very patient, Ooh, just backing strength. away slowly but surely. Don't know why he did the full. Very nice. Though. Probably an input error, but unjust. Capitalizing on the punish. Okay. This is really close. I think Ember Aztec can do this. What, yeah, a what a read! That was the so good. The neutral jump out of nowhere just... What? Mighty this Unjust is seen into the future. This is looking rough for Aztec right now. Nice patience. Are you still in this? No way. Destroy out of way, he, right? He can do it. I believe. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> wow, wow. GG's. Unjust looking so good with the Kano. Aztec actually did play that one quite well, but it was just... I think the variation swap was maybe a little too late. I think maybe if he ran it a little bit earlier, it could have worked out better. But Unjust looking so good with the Kano. He will be moving on into winner's final. So he's guaranteed top three. So he's play he's been playing really good. And I'm not surprised, wow. to be honest. Unjust is... The guy's won like hundreds of online tournaments at this point. He's won so many tournaments. So he's 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 someone you'd always got to look out for in these NA online events for sure. But he played really, really good. Wait a second. Layla Eduardo with a fifty dollars super chat said, "Sorry, mate, wow. job's a job." He's the one who had the rent money. He's got it. That's why he's donating. He's Holy got his. He's, he's got his. He's got his rent money up. That's why he's donating. I see. This Yo, man with so the rent much, money bro. donations. What a mad nah. lad! You love to see it. Crazy, bro. Thank you, man. Holy. All right. So I'm gonna. We're gonna try and just literally get match after match after match. As long as the players are there, we'll be able to just keep them going straight away for you guys. Um, yeah, listen, Wazminator doesn't want to be here all day. He told me he's got some Korean fried chicken waiting <laughs> for him after this tournament. So we want to get him to that as soon as possible. So let's get these matches rolling like hotcakes, please. And Let me thank see the you. chat. Someone said, is Kano the new S tier? Kano's been quite good for a while at this point. I think K Kano players have just kind of figured out how to make his pressure like kind of not infinite. It's not literally infinite, but it kind of is. Yeah. So yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah, we'll talk about... Cleveland, Cleveland Jr. Yeah, I see you, man. Or the treat teams in premium Kane gameplay. Exactly. What What is the next match we're looking at here? Next match we're going to have. Oh, this is gonna be so good, man. Tweety versus oh. King Gambler. Yo. Ooh. This is, this is like I'm so excited for this one because, like I said earlier in the in the stream, these two are, are like they play each other all the time. They're literally training partners, um, and they are also really good friends. So this is a good one to have. This is a good match to have on stream. All right, let me get you in. Where'd you go? Wow. Yeah. I'm really excited to see how this plays out. I mean, Tweety, he is the gearest, the gearest leader right now, you know, just leading the charge with his character. He's been nerfed time and time again, but you just can't put him out of his misery. Exactly, yeah. Tweety Put him is... out of his freaking misery already. <laughs> Tweety is, uh, like I said with Unjust, is so consistent, right, in every game, not even just MK11. In Justice 2, he was top player. MKX, by the end of it, he was one of the top players. He still is really good in all those games right now. Like, that guy is always someone to look out for. And King Gambler, I think, he's always been really good. But I think this last two years or so for him has been huge. Like, his, his development as a player has been insane. He's, he's yeah. Especially with Sub-Zero now, he swapped to Sub-Zero. Um, he's been doing really well in all these tournaments. So, oh my god, bro. Lelo with another 20 said, Tweety, more like oh. Freedy. Freedy, no. Whoa. No, Yo, that's kind of savage. He better, savage. he better chill talking about my boy Tweety like that because if I call Tweety on the phone right now, Tweety will go crazy. <laughs> yeah, make sure you go AFK, by the way, before we get into the match. You right. want me to stay ready and I can fight them? Yeah, if you want to fight them, final boss. Yeah, thank you so I'm much for the, the 20 there, man. Listen, I appreciate it, bro. Seriously. I, I, I'm, more, I'm more like the uh, the level one sub boss when it comes <laughs> to Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, what about MKX, <laughs> the Predator? MKX, I might, <laughs> I might I might, collect some skulls here and there. All right, here we go. Game number one, King Gambler versus Tweety. Who do you guys think has got it? Drop a one in the chat if you think Gambler's going to win. Two in the chat if you think Tweety's got it. Let me know, let me know. Can I put three in the chat? Three in the chat if Destroyer is going to scratch his balls after this. All right, here we go. Game number one. <laughs> oh, let me get the game sound. My bad. I forgot to unmute. One sec. The game sound. There we go. Professional, by the way. Okay. This is a weird matchup. I think that... Uh, I actually think that Sub-Zero does pretty good against Garrus, but Tweety... 
He played against too easy in the same matchup yesterday, and he made it look really good. He, he played really well. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about some matchups sometimes because Tweety just makes them all look pretty easy, to be honest. Yeah, he really does. Really good throw. Gonna smack him to the top of the screen. It looks like Gearus is gonna fight out of this corner with a throw of his own. Dude, that throw animation is so sick. It reminds me of the yeah, Matrix so Reloaded. I love it. Okay, very nice. Tags him with a 1-1 one, one into the choke slam from hell. Oh my god, the down two is right to his calves. You Definitely know how much that kill, hurts? Right? Yeah, just, just enough damage at the end there. Garrus, one of the not, one of the characters is very blessed with Round having the, the two bar option in every combo. No matter what hit, he can always spend two bars for that extra damage to close it out. Wow, the down one out it, 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 Imagine if you got frozen by Garrus and he starts down twoing your calves. <laughs> what would you do? Hey man, what, what can you do? Back to two. Look at the damage here. How much? Like almost 38? Yeah, 35. Man, Tweety looking so strong right now. Look at the pressure from this guy. He ain't. Yeah, he's. Oh my god. He's straight up just ragdolling King Gambler. What's crazy about it, too, is you know, both of these players are honestly kind of like training partners. They play this game a lot. Yeah, they both grind. Wow, and look at Tweety, man. He yeah, is... they grind together. Yeah, exactly. They play a lot together and they both play a lot of hours in general. And Tweety, right now, looking like he's a stronger player with the Garrus. Looking so good. Like. Nothing too crazy, but nothing like there was nothing that really was so crazy about the match. But Tweety, just super solid. I said this yesterday too. He's just, he's just so consistent, so solid. And I think Gambler just didn't really get a chance to like start his game. That that was kind of what held him back there. Sub Zero, yeah. Gambler's like the opposite of all the other Sub Zeros, where he doesn't actually mix up that much. He kind of just plays the more like safer Sub Zero style. And I think, yeah. I think that can work a lot of the time. But sometimes you might have to go for that mix, you know. Yes. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And listen, I gotta just break it to you. He's not using Gearus. He's actually using Dark Side. <laughs> true, that is true. Imagine that. Imagine <laughs> the skin gave you like a buff, like the lasers or something. Oh, that would have been crazy as hell. And it looks like King Gambler is gonna be sticking with the Sub Zero pick, which didn't look too promising that last match. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, King Gambler is gonna be able to uh, tighten things up here and put the pedal to the metal. Yeah, I think, like I said, Tweety's so good against Sub-Zero. I think one thing to mention is uh, King Gambler is not actually using the Air Axe. And if I was if I was to say uh, which variation is the best against Garrett, it would be that Air Axe. So it's interesting he's not using it. But Tweety, once again, with the Air Confirm, spending the two bars, like I said earlier, he's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, almost 40. Very nice. Tosses him right into the bed of spice, continuing nice that. Blocks. Wow, wait! What kind of block? It, it looks like he stood up and the low still didn't hit. Yeah, what was that it, about? It's just a, it's, I guess it's just the timing, right? It's a very quick fuzzy, so like maybe the animation sometimes doesn't even register that you actually blocked low. Holy wow. smokes! Oh, no punish. The still. patience right now from King Gambler as he just approaches him. This is some scary uh, Sub Zero wow. corner pressure here. That was actually a great read. Mean, never there. mind. 4-2 KB, reading the backdash, and it worked out was really smart. One more hit from Gambler, we'll take it though. Oh my god, this is Oh scary. my god. Tweety's gonna chip him out. Yeah. yeah there it is. He could have force blocked. Rough. King Gambler could have force blocked there, but I think just because of the, the situation, it was probably a little bit too hard to kind of be ready for that one. But Gambler, he, he, he was looking a lot better that round compared to the first game. So let's see, maybe he can pick it up now. Full string. Yeah, he really was. And I gotta say, man, Tweety's doing a really good job at doing a bunch of stagger pressures into poke. Like, just mixing up the whole Gearus game plan. It's looking so flawless right now. Yeah, that's really the thing. Really flustering King Gambler here with the cookies and cream variation. The thing with uh, Gearus nowadays is he, he has changed quite a bit since, like, day one. So he does have a few gaps now where that's why you see those, sta those staggers coming out a lot more instead of the, like, full yeah. strings that you used to see back in the day. But Tweety, he's a master of Garrus. He's, he's probably the best Garrus in the world for sure. And you can see it. You can see why right now. But Gambler, nice trip guard. Here we go. We're gonna Whoa, him. very nice combo with the jump crossover kick. He's going crazy. My man's is gaming right now. Uh -oh. Good throw from Garrus, aka Tweety, aka Dark Side. To scare that conversion? No conversion, man. It's really only one hit at this point. One hit will kill unbreakable, guaranteed. So Ga Gambler's gonna be careful here. Oh my oh. god. Wait a minute, is he dead from this? Yeah, he's definitely dead from this. He's for sure oh dead. Oh my goodness gracious. Dead. Oh my god. Tweety is a savage for that one, man. Back to two on block. Raw fatal blow. Tweety, are you serious, man? Is that how you're feeling right now? That's so crazy that he just did that. I, 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 don't, I did not think that would work.
But that's one thing to mention though, Gamble actually went for the overhead. That's the first time he's went for the overhead in the whole set, I'm pretty sure, or the second time. Yeah. So the one time he goes for the overhead, he gets raw fatal word for it, so... Oh, that was man. actually unbelievable right there. That was crazy. That was that that was truly unbelievable. Let me tell you, man, Tweety with that raw fatal blow out of thin air honestly caught King Gambler off guard. He, yeah, there exactly. was no way he, he knew that was coming. Nah, and that's no the way. thing about a game like Mortal Kombat 11. You know, most of the time when, when a player has access to their fatal blow, I feel like it's just such an intimidating factor to, to bring into the battlefield. You, you know, you hold on to it. It has a couple hits of armor. It's like, bro, I do not want to push a button because I may potentially get fatal it's blow. It's so scary, bro. It's always so scary in this game. Like, it's it's... It's one of those things where it seems kind of random and bad, but it's just so good. Like, it's Fight. way too good to not use it. But here we go. This it's is game, game number three. Tweety looking really strong right now. Look at him already backdashing. He plays in this range, so Sub-Zero's slide can punish the Sand Trap quite a lot, but he plays in this range where it's, like, actually not going to be able to punish it. So it's really, really good awareness and matchup knowledge from Tweety here. He's got a lot of experience against Sub-Zero. Yeah, it's, it's really crazy to see sometimes on the screen. Beautiful, flawless block. Tweety right now, he's gonna get opened up by the throw. Let's see if King Gambler can capitalize in this moment here. Go for the jump in. Punish. Very good oh, step. He tried. Oh, the knee straight to the face. He said, go to sleep. Okay, there's the cookies and cream pig. I've had nice block. Oh, the jumping after the after the minus frames, yeah, jumping that's pretty good. We're we gonna see two bars. Oh yeah, nice breakaway. King Gambler believes, but he's dead. Oh. Big boy punish here too. Is this optimal? That looks pretty optimal. Back to two. Definitely gonna kill Tweety now on set point to move on to winners finals against King Gambler. He's looking really good right now. I don't know what Gambler needs to do, but something needs to change right now. Tweety just looking unstoppable. Nice. Blocks. A lot of down ones coming in from Tweety's corner. I mean, when you have access to a six frame down one, why not dish it out any moment you get? His, his down one is six frames, right? Yeah, he's down one six frames. Sub Zero's down one okay. is also six frames, but it's, it's, oh. it's not as good. The hitbox is a little bit worse. Slide? Oh, yeah, he's not going for slide punishes, but at least he's getting his turn. Grab, get off me. Gamble with a life lead right now. He might be able to stay alive. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's actually a punish with Sub Zero's down one. A lot of pressure coming in from King Gambler's part, uh, department here. He's gonna go with the creeping ice. Beautiful blocks from both of these players. He opens them up with the standing 1-1. One, one. You can see it. Oh my god. Oh my god, 50 -50. Oh my god, he had it with the load. If he would have confirmed. Waz, that could have been it. One hit will kill from both players at this point. It's so scary. Yeah, you can see Gamble. He doesn't even want to tech the grab. He's so scared to press the button. Back to two. Oh my god, it worked this time. Wow. No way. Dude, the craziest Wowzers. No way. I can't believe Gambler actually did 4-2 fail. So rare to see him go for those risky mix-ups, but it worked out this time. He stays alive with the one 50 that counts. That was so good. Bro, by that's Gambler. insane. He, he actually clipped them out of the air too. Unbelievable, bro. The crazy part look is, at this. Too, yeah. Yeah. Like one of the, What's one the, of the crazy part? The crazy part is that he did 4-2 after back 2-2 with Garrus, right? That same situation is where the Fatal Blow happened last time, so crazy that wow. he actually still decided to take his turn. Very interesting. What a savage animal. Look at this. Tweety just going for the run-up throw. It looks like uh, King Gambler is very frightened by those downed ones from Tweety. He's been dishing out this entire match. Good forward 3-2. He's just backing away. King Gambler with the rush down. He doesn't want him to, to escape. Escape Bro, this is now. such a back yeah. and forth right now. This is nuts. Nice. Didn't confirm, though. That's a hard confirm. Back three, full string. Oh, escape failed again. Tweety's grab game is so good. He guesses right on the direction almost every time. What's next? Full string. He's been running that one a lot. Oh, the jumping was so scary there. Can Gambler stay alive? He keeps going for it. I can't believe it. Wait. He's not dead. He's not dead, right? No, he's not. Oh! Oh, God. This is scary. What is happening right now? This is so scary. Down to the wire. Almost 20 seconds left on the clock. Tweety playing the keep away. What's it gonna be? Gambler. The down one. Oh, the escape oh, failed. Oh. oh my God. And the brutality. Oh, Tweety 3-0 out of King Gambler. Are you serious, dude? Destroyer, what can we say right now about Tweety? He might... 
he's so ridiculous with Garrus. He makes that matchup look so like he doesn't make that matchup look bad at all. And in my opinion, it is. So it's crazy. Three zero Tweety making a statement. Destroy, are you alive? Are you alive? <laughs> I think this road is gone, guys. I think we lost him. Okay. He actually is baiting me. I'm not getting baited. I'm not Imagine getting baited. I froze. You almost got me. You almost. It actually got to the point. Oh, right? If you put it, dude, if you ran it for like another you know, 10 seconds, I was like, wait, is he actually frozen? <laughs> oh my god, that was good. I should have kept it going. Dude, I, I swear you almost had me. I was about to. I was about I to get it going. Oh, that Yo, was funny. That was crazy, though. I don't understand what happened. He just like had this, this, all this throwing and, and the down ones. It all flustered King Gambler. And the next thing you know, he's sitting in a freaking sand table smushed into pieces <laughs> by the hammer yeah i think wow man, tweety he just i swear he doesn't lose against sub-zero i don't think there's any sub-zeros that beat him right now he's just that no. good like he's just that good in the matchup i think i don't know how to how you can even approach that differently i think uh, there was a couple missed punishes on gambler's side but other than that it was really nothing too crazy um but man what a good set that was a really good one yeah tweety is like the strike throw strike throw best player at that he's like the strike throw god in mk11 Obviously, that yeah. is kind of like the, the nature of the game, but the way he makes it work with Garrus is just so consistent. Um, jump out of that room quickly. I'll invite you. We're going to have to keep remaking them every time, so we'll just quickly jump back out. Yo, Very Lele nice. with another 10 said, so King Gambler more like Lose Gambler. Bro, why is he roasting players every time with the Yo, he's chat? a savage. Yo! I don't know. I think, I, I think we should get him into the next Legends uh, tournament. Wait, he was in the tournament. Hold on. Let me see what... Nah, nah, nah. Oh, he was? He was in there. He was in there. Yeah, How'd he, he do? I don't, I don't know. How'd he do? How'd he do, pa uh, partner? How'd he do? Wait, how, did, how did he? Let me let me know in the chat, Lalo. How, how far did you make it? Let me know. Yo, he said, someone said Lalo did play and he lost. No! This chat is savage today. He said lost immediately. <laughs> hey, at least he he's said, honest. He said, he said, he said, I entered the tournament. I thought I could do something. It turns out I suck. Damn! Little <laughs> Wait. Bro, this tournament was Yo. insane. Oh, okay. Oh, one sec. Okay. Yo, this next match here? You, what? I know, right? This yeah. is going to be insane. I don't think the chat's yet. ready for this one. I didn't one. even know yet. Okay. And I'll tell you, the, the, character we're about to, the, the character we're going to get on the screen up next, I actually like this character. I think even though she gets a lot of, a lot of hate. Let's see it. Here we she's go. She's not bad. Next set on stream. This is the loser side of the bracket now, by the way, guys. Pop Tart, one of the best Kotal Khans. He's made it very far in this bracket. Going up against Scar, the best Jade in the world. We saw a lot of uh, we saw we saw a very similar matchup yesterday um, because there was the three best Kotals basically outside of Rewind were all in the bracket, and only two made it to top eight. Um, but yeah, that we have seen Kotal Khan quite a bit lately, and for good reason. But I think Scar is an amazing Jade player, and he's really good in this matchup too. So we'll see how does he approach it. Here we go. Game number one, let's get into it. All right, let's see how this goes down. We have Kotal Khan's versus Jade. Didn't they have a relationship in the game? Didn't Kotal Khan and Jade <laughs> yeah. get frisky together Pretty sure in the they story did. mode? Story, story. And, 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 and didn't Kotal Khan get frisky with Devora? Did that one happen? <laughs> Yeah, you don't remember that? Remember That's your that. main in Mortal Kombat X. How you don't remember that? That's your main in Mortal Kombat X. You know all about that. Nah, nah, nah don't get the chat started on my Devora things, man. They go crazy over that. Oh, okay, my time, my time. They think I've got like a, a thing for Devora. You definitely do. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, this match so far, pretty honest match. Nothing too crazy has actually happened, really. So are we going to see any command grabs? Nah, Pop-Tart... Pop Tart's the most aggressive Kotal out there, I think, out of the three of the main ones that we all know. Um, but He's aggressive, right now, huh? Yeah, very aggressive. He'll go for the mix ups. Oh, dead. Especially when going up against Jade. Beautiful. Gonna confirm into the fatal blow. This is gonna be big boy damage as Jade gets a hook right to the head. And wow, she's dead. Definitely gonna kill here. Pop Tart with a great hit confirm. Gets the, gets the full combo into the Fatal. Doesn't have Fatal Blow anymore, obviously, but I think getting around is always worth it. I'd say, I'll say, always say that. If you have to spend it, it's definitely worth it. Punish, yeah. That's one thing that's really good about this matchup for Jade. You don't have to really worry about him getting Sunlight for free because you can easily yeah. punish it. Very nice stuff. Pop Tart continuing the crazy pressure here. Dragging her to the wow. left side of the, the screen. Goes to the nasty. command, bro. That was a nasty conversion indeed. We've seen a lot of, like, parry some older Kotal players today. Wanna see armor break? No, keep the safe. He does have the KB. Okay. Wow, the command grab. Pop Tart looking good in this matchup right now. Enough surprise. Scar didn't meter burn to get the corner switch. 
Uh, I mean, he's, he's he got actually, it anyways. I think he actually has the variation that keeps it on the same side. Oh. I think, I think, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he does because he was using that yesterday. So I could be wrong, but okay. I'm pretty sure that's what he's using right now. But pop and isn't isn't that isn't that plus frames on block? Only if you do it from the run, from the pole vault. If you just do it raw, it's still like the same. But if you run and then do it, it's plus, yeah. So different. It's a little bit of a different kind of the way it works is a little different. But pop tart. Looking pretty good in the matchup. I think one thing to mention about this matchup is that, like, Kodal has 1050 health, which is already more than Jade, and Jade doesn't do the highest damage. Like, her damage isn't very high either. So, yeah. it can be a little bit of an uphill battle sometimes. So, but Jade is kind of that character where it's like, you can always win in every matchup, but wait a sec, what is going on? We're seeing a character swap. Scar's playing Sindel. Oh. I've never, I've never seen him play Sindel. I've always. Wow. Yo, let's go. This is crazy, bro. Honestly, Sindel, one of my most hated characters in Mortal Kombat 11. All she does <laughs> is forward four, autopilot neutral. It pisses me off. But I mean, let's see if Scar's gonna be able to do something here and kind of reverse the the, the tides of momentum against Pop Tart. What yeah. kind of flavor of pop tart do you like, Wazminator? Hey, we don't even Fight. call them pop tarts in Australia, so. What do you call them I in Australia? I don't know what it's called, but I know it's not that. I know it's not that. Biscuits. Biscuits. Man, I don't even know. I, 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 don't, I can't even tell you honestly. Oh my god, the KB started off. No way. Okay, that's also a really good punish there. Oh, that's a charge combo. Yeah, dude, that was so good. So the variation, that was so good. The variation we're seeing from Sky is a bit of a unique one. He's using the, the air flip, the banshee dash, which is like the air stream, and then just the low projectile as well. But pop tart, man, I swear he doesn't care what matchup it is. He just goes ham. This isn't gonna kill yet. Oh, that's gonna kill. That was so smart. Very nice, and it looks like pop tart not even phased at this character switch here from. Uh... Whoa, that name. Yo. Yo! Nah, don't read the variation name, boys. Don't read the variation name. Wow! Sus. iPhone. That's crazy. I can't believe Pop Tart scooped to that level. I can't believe uh, the, the game allowed him to put that because when I try to put a very vulgar variation name, it blocked every <laughs> single one of them. 1-1. One, one. So how the hell he got away with that? Let's see. What can, what can Scar do with this thing now? Uh, unfortunate drops. Nice floor block, but that was just an MK11 moment right there. With the whip. Very nice. Oh, punish, dude. He's so good in this matchup right now. He really is. We're going to get another beautiful command throw here. Pop Tart tossing her across the screen. You can see Sky. He wants that screen KB. That was really Ooh. smart. What's also scary about Pop Tart is the way he delays that that string. What is it? Back two, forward two? Uh, four the two crazy four. one yeah, that, that one. Has, yep. has insane advancing uh, mid. Yeah, 4 2 4. He, crazy. Yeah, he staggers it so well, shim shimmies it so well to the point where Scar just doesn't know when he's going to throw it out. Exactly, but look at Scar. He's, he used that delayed back two. Catch the low, fatal blow, easy confirm. It was, I don't think he had to spend it, to be honest, but again, it's one of those things where you, if you're not really sure, just spend the fatal, get the W. It's always worth it. You don't want to go into the next game and be like, damn, I wish I spent that fatal. But Pop Tart, let see. Oh, missed the punish. That is punishable, but maybe not by Kotal. Back three string, nice grab. Get off me. Pop Tart defense looking good too. What would you do if Kotal Khan just grabbed her by the hair and started swinging her all over, all over the place? Yeah. yeah, with that variation name too, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Gonna keep the corner control. Yo. Goes for another down one into command grab. Drinking all the blood out of Sindel's. Sindelo. Oh, what, what happened? His on? controller died? I don't know what just happened. But he still <laughs> just grabbed her. Was that a tank? Bro, was that, was that like a bait? It? Oh my god, he's dead. Hey. That wasn't a bait. I, I think my man's a sandbag and he's giving him the W. Yeah, I don't know what just happened, man. That, the that, match that, was, a is weird, that was a weird ending. Collusion. The match is rigged. A pop tart. 2 0. Yeah, his tick throws were crazy in that room. Uh, I'm seeing in the chat saying the tick throws are crazy. I agree. That's the thing with Kodal. It's like, he doesn't have to do them, but the fact that he has the tick throws always makes any button he does is scary because he can kind of just do a command grab. But damn, pop tart looking good right now. 2 0. Will we see a swap? Will we see the swap from Scar? I think we might. We might just see it. Wow, 2 0 just like that? I mean. Crazy. A character swap would be nice because we do know Scar CA for that Jade pick. Of course. Yeah, you almost rarely away, see him born for the Sindel. Immediately goes back to the Jade. Doesn't even hesitate. He was like, yeah, that Sindel's going back in the back in the bin. But here we go. Game number three. Pop Tart, can he 3-0 this? Can he 3-0 Scar right now? I don't know. 
I feel like Scar is quite strong, so it would be surprising right. to see a 3-0, but... Pop After what we witnessed these last couple matches, he most definitely can 3-0 Scar. Yeah, the question sure. is, can Scar make the reverse comeback? Here we go. Game number three, Poptar. What do you got for me, Scar? Let me see. What variation is he running? Okay, so he can actually side switch with the uh, Shadow Kick in this variation. Let's see if he uses it or not. Back two. No way. Are you serious? That wow. was the sweatiest ground start I've ever seen. Wow. I've never seen that before. Wow. Good patience. Doesn't want to overextend anything because Photocon has the distance to make you pay the price for it. Nice. Beautiful idea. overhead. It's not that oh, one. Oh, he's gonna go with the wake up three. This is a straight slug fest for both players. A back and forth like never before seen. Wow, nice command grab. Yeah, dude, these guys are going ham. You think Jade, you think zoning, right? But not in this matchup. Oh, oh the command grab. Are we gonna spend bar? We might get the damage buff. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he, he definitely wants to close this out here and now. Pop Tart with the Quartal Khan yeah. going crazy. And you thought I was you gonna say, that huh? Variation name, huh? You baited me. You thought I was gonna say, huh? Two one, nice. Okay. You, thought, you thought I you thought I was about to get the whole stream cancelled. About to get demonetized off the off the rip, bro. Right? Oh, oh my oh. god. That was such a good confirm. Like you never see anyone really using 2-2 ever with Kodal, but the fatal boy confirm takes the round pop tart one round away from moving on in the bracket. You'll love to see it. I mean, Scar CA is going to need a magical leaf to make this comeback. Let's yeah. see He's if you really can get the magical snap. leaf. He's going to have to pull out something crazy. For oh, real. Have you seen the movement from Pop Tide? Look at this, man. Pop Tide is looking confident right now. Nice down one. He's in and out of the, of the danger zone as he pleases. It's quite fascinating watching the way he moves with Koto Khan. You know, you, you would look at a character like Koto Khan and say, oh, he's big, he's slow moving, but you put him in the hands of a player like Pop-Tart, and he's gonna be flying across the screen with the wave dashes and just all the movement tech that this game has to offer. Oh my it's god. It's bananas. Speaking of wave dash, Pop-Tart, this raw command grab from the wave dash, runs in command grab. Looking like MKX Koto with that run, man. Plus yeah, plus for real. Frame. Plus frames. He, oh, he's mashing. He his... runs at you. He runs at you, and he goes, "You don't impress me." <laughs> Two one. No way. That was such a good shimmy, Scar. He stepped it up with wow. the offense in that round. That round was really good offense. That was so good. Very nice. Let's see how this plays out. I mean, Scar does finally have a round on the board here. Can he capitalize on this moment and just bring this match back to life for himself? Trying to go with the Delilah's dance. Open it. He opens him up, but a beautiful read from Pop Tart. Jumping straight out of that grab opportunity. Yeah. Whoa, so bro. Good. You saw the mix up. He down forward him straight into the kitty cat. Yeah, he thought the command good. throw was gonna uh, was gonna appear. It's such a good choice. Like it's safe. Like there's no risk, and it just does. It's chip on block. It's it's just such a good option. Whoa, there we go. This is looking great for Pop Tart right now. Whoa, wow, Delia's dance. Yeah, keep it safe. Listen, Wasman, have you ever been to Giovanni's Pizzeria? I've not. Did they have those in Australia? Never heard of it. You never heard of it? Never heard of it. But you told me you was good friends with Kotal Khan. How you never oh heard my. of it if you good friends with Kotal Khan? Destroyer, did you see what just happened? What happened? I missed it. Down I was too busy talking about Giovanni. Down four fatal boy from Scott Demonic. Keeps him alive in the bracket. Oh my god. What? Are you serious, Scott? It's not a 3 0. He stays alive. He might actually be able to run this. Oh no way. my goodness gracious. Nah, RCA no way. with the maniac play, staying alive in the tournament. You said down four into fatal blow skins? Down four into Fatal Blow on block from Sky. Works out. Keeps him alive in the match. Nah, that was actually crazy. That was that was savage. Yo, just by the way, Bro. before we get to the before the next match starts, shout out to the 750 viewers in here right now. That's actually wow. crazy. Yo, if you guys are enjoying, please drop a like on the stream right now. Drop some buttons in the chat, man. Let me know if you're enjoying the stream right now, enjoying the tournament. We had a great day yesterday as well. Please let me know. Go, go crazy in the chat. Drop some likes on the stream. Make sure you subscribe if you're watching the VOD as well. Um, but yeah, man, this tournament's been going crazy so far. Game number four is about to start right now. Scar versus Pop Tart. Scar staying alive, man. I can't believe it. Down for fatal. Like, what? What's up, Zane? I yeah. see you. AG, AG Miller you said, Now I want pizza. I see what you've done, Destroyer. They're all hungry now. 
All right, I'll tell you what. Who wants some? Press one in the chat if you want DiGiorno's. Press two in the chat if you want Giovanni's pizza. Press three in the chat if you're a piece of. I'm not gonna say it. Sorry, sorry. Here we I didn't go. Get a oh, all the way out of jump back. That was actually really good. Double down four this time. Yeah, you can see Scar playing a little bit different. He's using the down four a lot more now. Hey, hey. Very nice. He's gonna go with the stagger. Look at that. A lot of the Lila's dances back and forth is driving me crazy right now. Oh my god, here we go. Ooh. Yeah, this Pushing got... buttons. Pr he, I feel like he did it on purpose just to avoid the command throw. Yeah, pressing quite a lot of buttons right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, punish? Nah, that one's really hard to punish. Pop that. Is he gonna wake up? Doesn't wake up? No way, dude. This is close. One hit in the fatal will kill. What? Dead? Oh, what he wanted to down too. Yo. Bro, what's going on right now is Scar is revitalized. This dude drank from the fountain of youth or something because this dude is looking like a new player. Well, yeah, the down. I think the biggest adjustment right now we've seen is just he's just been doing more down fours. Like that's literally the biggest one. His offense obviously yeah. has been really good, but I think the down four change has really helped. Mm, we're gonna see. Okay, breakaway of course. Down two. Get off me now. Nah, Scar's playing crazy right now. Scar needs to chill. Scar going for the reverse to go at the time. Nice whiff punish. That was beautiful. That was quite beautiful indeed. As we go for another command throw, that's about the 156 command throw we've seen today <laughs> from Pop Tart. Oh, then another Scar one. survived. Add one to the counter. Hey. Add hey. another one. Add another one to the counter. He tries to go for the jump in. The flawless block coming from Scar. Staying alive, you know he just needs like one touch into Fatal Blow to turn everything yeah, around. I will almost take it. Oh, this is not gonna Whoa! kill, not gonna kill. There it is. I'm, I'm gonna go grab a snack. You tell me when this Fatal Blow is over. All right, he's still alive. He's still alive, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely. Definitely still alive, but the zoning now, egg laves. There's a lot of threats here. Popta does have the cat move though, so you gotta be careful. Oh my, just as I said it. The timing on the egg lave was perfect from Scar. Ties it up two to two. We have a game five, wow. First game five of the stream, right? First game five of oh, the stream. No way. Scar looking so it, good. He's really making a comeback. He's really done it. One more. One more game. I can't believe it. Like, I honestly... You might have... Uh, wow. You, you might have commentators cursed him when you said, uh, can, can Pop-Tart close this out? My bad. <laughs> Sorry, Pop-Tart. Hey, still got a chance, you know. We'll see what happens. Jade. Two to two. We're gonna see any character swaps to see. I don't think so. Google it should Kong. just be the same matchup. Uh, yep. Oh, I think maybe we saw Special a variation swap from Pop Dot. I can't remember exactly what variation he had, but game number five. Who do you guys think's gonna win? Are we gonna see the Kotal Khan win or are we gonna see the Jade? Let us know in the chat. What do you think? Let me know right I'm now. I'm actually nervous. Yeah, this is a crazy one. This is intense, bro, because there's a lot of money on the line. Over 500 on over 500 in the prize pool for this event. So oh my god, it's, it's a big over 500 dollars. It's a big one, boys. It's a big one. So these players definitely want to stay alive as as far as they can to make you know as much as much money as possible. But here we go, round number one, game number five. He's using the totem. Here we now. go. Yeah. Oh my god. This is here we go. <laughs> oh, what a read. Are you serious? That was so good. 23 percent. Yeah, this is gonna be demonic. This, they have to just go ham right now. There's nothing else they can do. Whoa, nice. Yeah, ex net for that little bit of extra damage. Keep the knock down. Bro, that punish was juicy. I'm loving the way Scarf is playing right now. I don't know what kind of knock sends him to him, but like I said earlier, he's playing like a whole different player. That I think, sick. uh, j just, you know, the, the level ad of adaptation he just has equipped on himself is just unbelievable because, wow, look yeah, at this, I think he's the just, life he's playing, just playing, so playing that keep away game, you'll love to see it. Man, yeah, it's really just, the, honestly, like, his spacing has been a lot better, his poke choice has been way better, but one hit away from, one hit will kill now into fatal, oh my god, that might, no, it's not gonna kill, it's really close. Yeah, super close for the damage buff. <gasps> oh, the forward two. What? Hop Tart. He, he is so happy that actually worked out because he was really close to dying from that one. But Pop Tart now on set point, one round away. Scar. I'm not counting Scar ever again, though. This is way too close to say who can win this. Nice punish. Back two. Oh, the pole vault. Yeah, that's a little bit of a mix up. It's tricky. For sure. Nice egg laves. Bro. 
This is a nail biter. I can't even speak oh right God. now. Triple totem though. Yeah, you don't want to break this one, right? Oh, he did. No, look at the damage. Triple totem. This is so much. Holy. Yeah, 33. Oh my God. That was massive damage out of just like four hits. Yeah, it was basically nothing, right? Oh, nice. This, oh not dead, no. Not dead. Is he dead? Not dead. 50-50 though. He's, oh my God. He's going to break her. He didn't want to deal with it. That was a flawless block. If Popstar had the meter, he could have launched him with the up two. Oh, oh my God. Fatal blow is available. Throw. Fatal blow for both players. No. Plus. <laughs> Oh my! Oh my God! Yo, Scar. Come closer. What? Final round. Guys, fight. Nah, I don't want to talk anymore. Oh I think my, my God! Drop. Oh my God! What a comeback from Scar, dude. This is so Bro. good. Nah, this is too good. Bro, Scar really working on the reverse three zero comeback right now. Jade on the up on the approach. Hold on. Pop Tart starting off really nicely. Nice. Beautiful. Go straight over the flawless block into a command throw. Bro. He's already done two Pop tick throws, but oh. successful. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, this is looking rough. Dead? Hey, yeah, GG's. Pop Tart with the 3-2. What a set, though, guys. You gotta admit, that was a W set. That was so good. Yeah. He stopped him from making the ultimate comeback, it seems. I mean, wow. bro. Dude. Just a, a, a couple reads, and that would have been monumental. Unfortunately, though, Scar not going to be able to close it out. Pop Tart advancing in this top eight bracket. Man, Pop Tart. With over $500,000 in the prize pool. <laughs> 500000 That's the real number, by the way. That's not. That's actually correct. Man, what a match from those two players. I think Scar so close to making that reverse 3 0, but Pop Tart just stayed sold. The last round, he hit three successful command grabs, and, you know, if he hit three in a row. It's probably going to be GG's at that point, but really, yeah. really good stuff from Pop Tart. Next up, boys, we're going to get, we're literally just going to keep flying through these matches straight away. Um, we're going to have Hijinks, really good Jackie player who was on the stream earlier, going up against Sunio. Sunio was going crazy yesterday with the Robocop teabagging. Fatal, fatalities, game number two. Like, this guy's a savage, bro. He's a savage. Oh, we got Sunio next? We got Sunio going up against Hijinx. These two are wow. both savages as well. Bro, I, I didn't know Sunio was going to be making an appearance in this tournament. This is crazy. You know, Sunio with the Robocop. Always interesting to watch play because, again, this is a character you almost quite never get to see in, on the screen. Bad. You know, very select few players play Robocop. But when you do see him on the screen, it's always a good time. Even though he's known for the excessive zoning and, and all the, uh, you know, the police enforcement, police brutality and all that crazy <laughs> yeah. stuff. He's still crazy. I, yeah, I enjoy I think, watching I Robocop. Think, um, Sunio has, even though there isn't many Robocop players, if there was more of them, Sunio is by far like the most, would be the most unique. He's so, the way he plays the character is like so weird and it's so also kind of annoying yeah. if you're playing against him. But he he's very, very strong with uh, Robocop. The best, I've always for said sure. he's the best Robocop in the world. Um, I don't think, I don't think that's really up for debate. He's like the only, only guy who's really like, Solo, yeah. solo maining Robocop. There's no one else really doing it Jackie like that much. No, yeah, for sure. And listen, man, you know, every time I play this game, I always ask myself this same question time and time again. How many Robocops does it take to screw on a light bulb? That, please. Huh? Answer. How many? The chat has to help me. I can't answer, man. Tell me. I don't know. You guys got to tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't you know. You the most random shit. <laughs> I, love I don't it. know. All right, here we go. Game number one. Let's swap it over. Boom. Jackie versus Robocop hiding Sunio. This is loser's bracket also. This is this is also loser's bracket. Okay. So we've just been watching a bunch of losers matches. So are you telling me those last couple matches we watched, people are getting eliminated? The last set was a losers match. The other two were winners. So Scar's now out of the tournament, but the other matches have all been winners. So if you lose this match right now, unfortunately you're out of the tournament. But that is the oh. price you pay if you lose. All right. Well, let's see what happens. We got wow. potentially the most zone-heavy character versus the most pressure-heavy character. Yeah, it's like the complete opposite. It's like Robocop, in my opinion, a great, a great uh, option against Jackie. He has some pretty good options. The air charge. He has the up gun, but hijinks looking good with the leap. Not gonna kill. Robocop does have so much health. Still gonna be alive. Yeah, he has 1100 health. So Robocop blessed has 150 more health than Jackie Briggs. Very lucky in that regard. What? Yo! Wow! Was, oh my God! That's so Hold sick. on, bro. That extra HP taken uh, oh, into account it. here, 
and there it is the leap out of nowhere just shutting down that was Sunio. actually so cool that he the way he did that was sick he stopped the mine on the ground then he did the air charge for like kind of like five frames that was so cool uh you had he said you are under arrest here we go oh wow the late leap just want to quickly shout out norbert for the two uh two dollar super chat and also Manuel uh, dropped five as well, said, uh, Mighty Unjust, use the cane against Pop-Tart, yo. Mighty Unjust has been going crazy with Kana. You'll see more of it, don't worry. Thank you so much for the support, boys. Yeah, man, shout out to these incredible people just coming through clutch with all this support. You love to see it. Wow, hijinks, hijinks right now is playing so good. Yeah, sets up the kill on the ground, KB. Okay, this is big. Definitely can make this comeback. Oh my gosh. Anything oh. will kill, really. Fatal Blow? Yep, that's it. Okay. Very good confirm from Sunio. I think Sunio, yeah, he, he always has, like, he's actually a very good post player, even though his defense is kind of crazy, but that's kind of, like, consistently his thing. He's actually quite composed, because as a zoner, you kind of sometimes do have to just be patient and compose, and he's really good at that. So, yeah, this is wild, man, and I love that Sunio is going to bounce right back and take a round off of hijinks. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And also, Robocop, the mid command grab mix up came in there for sure. That's why he got hit, I think. Nice conversion. Hold on. That was Hold on. He's going to put the, the, goop, the goop on the ground. Oh! oh beautiful. Beautiful oh, up gun air there. Sunio just hit that, bro. Right, that, that was clean. That did so much damage, too. 27% almost. Oh, nice hit. Oh, 50 50. Yeah. Dead. Wait, that was a reset. Nah, that was crazy. That and, bro, just like you crazy. were saying no. before, I do see that Robocop is definitely. A good pick against Jackie Briggs. He made one incredible read off of that anti-air gunshot, and it just demolished her. And look at Fate. that, hitting her exactly. with the cinematic fatality, the walk away. What a sick finish from the Sunio. Man, the anti-air from Sunio, his command grab choices were great. Like, he just did everything really well there. But Hijinx also, was, it was so close. Like, the match was actually really, really close. Hijinx was one hit away from taking it in the first game. I mean, in the first after the first round. But Sunio stayed clutch, stayed composed. The anti air was great too in that other in the yeah. against that leap. That's the stuff that I was saying. Yeah, like I'm saying about the matchup. Especially, I think the biggest thing is just the health difference, though, right? 150 yeah. health, bro. 15 percent more health. Like that's so much. Like it's, wow. it's a ridiculous amount more. So Robocop kind of blessed with 1100 health right now. Yo, shout out to the 825 people. That's insane, man. This is my most viewed stream. So, most viewed stream on YouTube. So thank you guys for coming through, man. I appreciate it. This is sick. Hope you guys are having a good time watching. This is so fun. I mean, hey, man, listen. At the end of the day, Mortal Kombat 11, you know, when you got the right recipe for it, it is one hell of a good time. Exactly. You know, you got all these high-level players. You, you got, you know, this great production tournament that Waz is hosting here. It's it's awesome stuff. Here we go, though. And it's exciting. Man, Hijinx has just been getting hit by a lot of mids. I guess he's really that scared of the command grab. Because it's not even counting it. He's probably just trying to jump. Yeah. Very good patience right now from Hijinx. He doesn't want to risk it because he knows Sunio is pretty good at reacting to those uh, to those crazy moments with the anti-air gunshots. That health oh! difference. Wow, that was sick. That was sick. Bro, talk about resets. Last game, Hijinx delivering them right back to Hijinx. I mean, to Sunio. Oh, I don't know who's no playing. way. No, the, oh my god. Sunio is so That's good. That's going to kill. Yeah, definitely going to kill. This was from an anti air as well. Like, that's so good. I can't believe that connected, to be honest. Sunio is so good with the anti airs of Robocop. Makes it look oh, so man, easy. That was so sick. That was actually beautiful. Round that was so fire. Sunio looking I good mean, right uh, now. I, I think it's safe to give the title of best Robocop to Sunio at this point. I mean, yeah, he's been going crazy sure. with the character. For sure. 100%. I think Foxy also has an amazing Robocop, but Foxy kind of plays multiple characters, so it's kind of a little bit different there. I think best, like, solo Robocop, easily Sunio. Man, look at the damage on this trap, though. 20%, basically. Oh, tries to roll out. Catches him with the jump three into the, uh, whatever the hell that move is called. Sunio still alive, though. No way. Can you convert wow, that Yo! The little conversion was cool, too. I like it. He sniped him. Board one. Nice he gave him the sniper elite. Wait. Not ever. Junio, this is why like, Jackie meant. I mean, Robocop has so much health. He can he can kind of afford to like get hit a little bit more. The command grab. It's not over yet. Anti has got to happen, oh right? <gasps> no he shot. Knows. He just whiffed that and died for it. Oh my god, he really tried. Oh, he tried to go. Was that the, gonna... Oh yeah, that would have chipped. Fight. 
Wow, the jump in. I think he, the idea was that it was going to chip, but because of, when it's really far away and if you duck, it's kind of whiffs. So it's very unlucky that happened to Sunia, but man, he's picking it up this round. He doesn't even care. Look at the life lead right now. Yeah, right off the start, he went crazy. Beautiful reads. The escape failed. And Robocop is a character that gets a two-way crushing blow, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, this is true. Yeah, he has, he has 50, 50 um, crushing blow throw. Nice conversion into the fatal. Not gonna do like crazy damage. It's, it's good damage for sure, but Hijinx needs something to make his life back right now. So I can see why he spent it. Yeah, 41%. Quite good damage actually. But how does he keep it going though? Try to leap in. Playing very patient right now. Sunio has a massive life lead. He doesn't want to throw this away. Wow! Nice. Dude, this is GG. Yep. Sunio, so good right now, man. He, he's looking like he's looking really confident in this matchup. You can see it. Nah, oh my God! This Look at the screen. way he just grabbed. Yo! Bro, the way he just grabbed him by the neck. The nah. man is out of control. Wow, man. Sunio looking so good in this matchup. I, I feel like this. Hijinx doesn't play any other characters from what I remember, and I don't think he's. I don't think he should swap. But it's also looking really hard right now. Like Sunio just looks so comfortable in this matchup. It's crazy. Nah, why people wouldn't? Someone said that's kind of sus. Hey, yo, nah. That, nah, that windscreen is kind of sus. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I that liked it. I thought I, I thought it was a good windscreen. What's wrong with it? Nah, it's good. It's good for sure. How can you, what did that say? How can you I, would like, I, I would like to see that windscreen on John Rambo. Yo. Hey, he's going to be like that. Adrian, you always name it. Can I help you? <laughs> Someone said, how can you close out space without getting predictable with Jackie? Yeah, it's it's hard. It's definitely hard. You have to just be really patient. But unfortunately, like I said, because of the life difference, you, you can't really afford to do like, to take too much like chip damage and like damage. You can't afford to take too much damage in general because it's yeah. just, the life difference is just so noticeable. Okay, here we go. We're getting right back into it. He's going to start off with the uh, the mid straight into the head bop. Hijinx playing... Uh... Very pace. He's pacing himself, it seems like. He doesn't want to leap. He doesn't want to approach too soon. He's afraid that, that Sunio capitalizes on one of his mistakes and just turns this battle around. Oh yeah, my wow, god, did you that see that anti-air? Yeah, that, that was, was dirty. Fire. That was fire. That was dirty. Dirty, dirty. Hey, hey. Look at the damage, too. Still on the ground burning right now. Yeah, get out of there. Oh. Yeah, he better get out of there because that was real dirty. Oh, nice. Interesting. Yeah, oh, interesting choice of, of combo there. I guess he Great wanted job. the corner carry to throw him into that that position, but Sunio already out of it and backdash it away. I'm scared he's going to get anti into Fatal Blow. It's going to be one of those moments again, but Sunio, look at me. He's happy to back off. <gasps> what, what oh, no. Read? That was definitely a command grab, for sure. He went for... You think so? Yeah, because his command grab is forward, down, back, and he must have just missed the back and got down to you by accident. Right. That's unfortunate. Unlucky input error, but Hijinx is like, thank you, man. Oh, big whiff too. No bar, no meter. That's unfortunate. Oh, Wait nice. a minute. Man, the pressure is looking really good right now. He's going to leap in there again. A beautiful counter coming from Sunio. He has a slight life lead here. Both these... Wait, I thought it was 1-1. It's 2-0. Wait, is it 1-1? No, it's 2-0. Yeah, it's 2-0. Yeah. No, Hijinx hasn't won yet. Really? Yep. Hey. Wow. 4-2. Oh my god. Hey, hey, look at the damage into the pressure. Nice floor spot. That's the only way to stop the pressure right there. That was very nice. Tries to go for a random overhead, but a beautiful block coming from hijinks. Could have also been a command grab again. Like that's it might because it, it's still that same input. Could have been an input error. But He's just senior. messing it up every single time. Yeah, I guess it's just that forward down back motion. Sometimes is weird. Yo, that's so sick. I love that. He's probably got the Butterfingers Deluxe right now. Uh-oh. Command grab. There we go. He's got it now. Okay, hijinx. You just need one hit, bro. <gasps> oh! No! No way, right? Yo! Oh, he's burning, he's burning. He's dead. Wow! I could not... I couldn't even talk. I didn't know what was going on right there. That was such a weird situation. But hijinx gets on the board. Let's go. I mean, really good stuff to hijinx. Staying alive. We might see another situation where... We get a potential reverse comeback. Is it happening but, again? I'm not saying anything this time. I think I, I almost cursed it last time. Hey, yeah. I don't know, man. I'll tell you, it is a potential that it does happen again. I feel like with a game like Mortal Kombat 11, the comeback factor is pretty high. I would say so too. Yeah, you definitely see it quite a bit in this game because there's a lot of like, 
it's a bit more of an honest out of all the other Mortal Kombat games it's it's pretty honest in comparison to some of the other Jackie ones so the adjustments Briggs. you can make are like they actually kind Whoa. of will help you a bit more than in some of like the the previous games where it's a bit more mix-up heavy so yeah that's why I think you kind of maybe will see it more the game's just a bit slower in general also so you kind of have more time to like catch your composure whereas like MKX and 9 it was so fast paced so it's like next match bro and you're already in like a 200 second block string going crazy I All agree. Right. Here we go. Game number four. Yeah, game number four. Hijinx has one mat, has one win on the board. Sunio with two. Yo, Slayer in the chat. I see you right now. What's up, man? He said, everyone hit that thumbs up. Yo, please hit the thumbs up on the stream. We have 850 people in here right now. Easy, easily we could break a thousand likes on the stream, I think, if everybody hits the like button right now. Takes two seconds, boys. All you gotta do is press the button. I would appreciate it if y'all hit the hit the like button, please. If not, we will start banning people. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, the conversion? No conversion. Oh, that was sick though. Short up into that. I like that. Okay, okay. Damn, Hijinx said, hold up. I'm, I'm running this back. Yo, yeah, that it's... was sick. It's like he woke up. Nah, that was actually fire. The way he kind of set that up, it was going to chip out no matter what. Oh, no punish. I mean, no KD. Yo, okay. He's very, very nice. Rifle. He doesn't use the rifle too often, so. And look at that. He's gonna get the flawless block off of that dash punch that's also safe on block. It looks like uh, Sunio's trying to reverse the tides of battle, but Hijinx just not letting it happen. Dishing out the crazy Jackie Briggs pressure combos here. Yeah, this pressure right now is looking crazy. Hold on. What's what, what, what did he do? Jump, that's it. That's a Sunio special right there. Oh, nice check. One more hit is gonna kill anything, even a grab. Stop He's gonna set some. Set some stuff up on the ground probably in a second. Oh, I tried to jump out. Yeah. You could see Hijinx oh, he... went for the air goo, but I think it was just input error. Oh, he's reversing it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, this is definitely... Hold on. Dude. Sunio can definitely win this one. I think Sunio's onto something. Do you leap with your Hijinx? Do you take the risk? Yes, you do. Oh, my God. Yo, that was so smart. Wow. Brutality? Oh. 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 What a mess. Are you serious right now, bro? Did he really just pop off like that? Nah. Sunio's gonna have to get a new head. That combo was fire. I thought there was no. I thought there was gonna be a brutality. Then I thought there wasn't. And then he ends it with the classic down two brutal. That was sick. That was so Beautiful smart stuff. by Hijing. So the reason that second leap to work was because he did that really fast, like short one. Quickly did the projectile in the air. Then he he did it again. Oh my god, Hijing. That was some next level reads because I. I was like, there's no way he's going to leap in, and he made it work, so that was sick. Oh Jackie my god, that was Briggs. That was locked in. Well, Someone said in the chat, reverse 3-0. Oh, I'm seeing a couple people say that. You guys think it's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. This, this might be shades of the last match, you know? Scar almost made the reverse 3-0, but exactly. the next thing you know, it was completely shut down. We might see the same thing happen now. Sunio is probably just giving us a show. At the end of the day, he is a pretty good showsman, so we gotta wait and see how this plays out. Exactly. My Hijinx, he's looking good right now. Tied it up two to two. This is the last game of the set. This is the loser's bracket, by the way, guys. So whoever loses this is out. These guys are fighting for the bag right now. Here we go. Fight. Round number one. Game number five. Hijinx Sunio. Here we go. Already starting off, starting off calm and collective. Like, bro, I, he's I, I say it a lot, but like the life difference just blows my mind. Like he starts with a 15% life lead, like off the rip, like straight away. 15%? Yeah, well he has 150 health. It's actually more than 15% technically. It's, it's a huge life lead, basically. How much is it? 150 damage, uh, right? Uh, it's gotta be. I don't I know the exact the, I want number. The, I, want, I want the exact number though. Come on, please. I don't know the exact number. How much? It's like 20%, right? I think it's 20. 20%? So it's like, no, it's, like, need... it's in between 15 to 20. It's a lot. You, you need to ban him in your next tournament. No, nah, someone in the chat said it's 15. It can't be 15 because Jackie doesn't have a thousand health. So it's it's more than 15. So it's a lot. I think I think I think he should be banned in the next tournament. Oh no, nah, that was sick. Hijinx, hold up. We were talking about the health, but Hijinx is like, I don't even care about the health for life lead. It's all good. Here we go. This might be set this is set point for Hijinx now. Okay, let's see if Hijinx can close it out. He's gonna go with the plus frames. Oh, Opens shimmy. him up. That's yeah, shimmy. that shimmy was very dirty. Ooh. Into the crushing blow combo. In the corner. This That's is weird. not looking too good. And this is match point for Hijinx as well, right? Oh my god. I don't wanna watch. 
Oh my god. Yeah, oh. nah, this is scary. I, I don't even know what to say right now. Soon you with the lifeboat. Look at him backing up. Hi, Jinx. He's playing pretty patient, though. Oh, there we go. Now he's in. Yo! Oh my god. The Chris Cross Apple Sauce. Oh, he went for the anti air. What happened? Back I two. don't know, but he's going to get a lot of damage on the screen here. Hi, nice. Jinx. With the Shuri, you can anti air. Oh my god. That was such an incredible read. Nice. And the grab oh, is over. Bro. Brutality. Bro, he flustered him. Oh my god. Hi, Jinx with the reverse. Oh, that three. was sick. What a mess. That was great Jackie stuff from Hijinx, man. Oh my god. Bro, she serious? shot the rocket right to his back and did the cinematic walk away. That was dope as hell. Dude. Sunio getting reverse 3 0'd by Hijinx. Unbelie unbelievable. Nah, Hijinx snapped. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, okay, this matchup is a little weird in my opinion. I thought when it was 2 0, I'm like, can you win three in a row against a Robocop like Sunio? But Hijinx. Steps up to the plate and he does it really well. Also, he made a lot of good adjustments. So great stuff to Hijinx. GG Sunio. Unfortunately, you're out of the tournament, but thank you for playing. I appreciate it. Hope you had fun. Hope you guys enjoyed watching Sunio, but that is the end of his run for this bracket. We're going to stay in the losers. Um, we're going to play two more losers match and then we'll go back to the winner side. So next okay. up, we're going to have King Gambler. Maybe the best Sub-Zero in the world right now, probably. After his top 8 EVO performance. Going up yeah. against Pop-Tart, who we just saw earlier, the really good Kotal player. So, yeah, this will be All a right. really good one. I think this is more of a matchup where you might get to see Gambler shine. We didn't get to see him yeah. really play too crazy in the in the winner side. So, I think hopefully mm -hmm. hopefully this time around we get to see him like kind of do a little bit more. Because he had a really good run to get to top 8. It just I think because he had to run into Tweety, it was just like a little bit unfortunate for him. But, yeah, are you guys enjoying the show so far? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. I'm loving it. Destroy, if you please, could you back I love out? it. I got you. I got to invite you. Oh, my you. bad. My no, bad. You good. Listen, I, I keep on forgetting. You want to know why? Because this, these matches are just stealing all my attention. I can't think <laughs> yeah. of anything else but Mortal Kombat 11 hype. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm seeing people in the chat enjoying it. Someone said, when is the European tournament? I think the next one will be um, EU for sure. So just stick around for the ne whenever the next one happens, and we'll have an EU one. So I want to do NA first, then we'll do EU. Oh. I want to try so this, and cover this is, like... This, this, is, this is like a one-off type of deal? This is the first one. I don't I don't know. I'm kind of just deciding how I want to go about it. I want to do one tournament a month. That's my plan. So at least one a month. Okay. Um because I'm not like I don't normally run tournaments that, that often. That's not might really what I've what I've done. So it could be something that I do more in the future if you guys enjoy it. All right. Let's go. Um King Gambler, Pop Tart. Let me invite these guys right now and we'll get the matches started. Yo, let me know in the chat actually what platform do you guys play on? Do you I know a lot of you guys actually play on Xbox. I saw a lot of you guys asking about that. I saw some PC players as well, so let me know what platform do you guys play on. That way I know you, like what tournaments to make, basically. You, you wouldn't believe me if I told you, but I actually play on the Nintendo Wii U. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, there's actually... No, you know, actually, it's like low-key, there's some sweaty Switch players. I'm not even kidding. There's some actual nasty Nintendo Switch MK players. I've seen them before. They're actually nasty. Nice. Okay, I would like to see that. I mean, you, you should do a, a tournament for a them. Switch sometime. 20? That would be next level, bro. That would be crazy. Do 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 a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 tournament on the Switch <laughs> and see and see see if uh it, it's nice. Okay, let me go AFK. We're gonna get this match started right now. Let's go, boys. Okay, King Gambler going up against Pop Tart. This is gonna be a good set, man. This is gonna be a really good one. I think. Oh, like, we got King Gambler making a, uh King Gambler and Pop Tart making a return this time in the lower side. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. I'm seeing someone in the chat said, you need to do Battle of Legends, European, and LATAM. Yeah, I, I swear I'm going to do every region as much as I can. Like, at some point, the, we'll cover every region. It might not be all for MK11 because who knows when the next game's dropping, but um, I'll try and get as many as I can before the next game comes out and then continue it when okay. the next game drops. I like that. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Let's get Let's into get it. Let's get this party started, man. Pop-Tart going up against King Gambler, Kotal Khan, Sub-Zero, I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. These two characters are completely honest. Nothing cheap about them. Let me unmute the game. Yeah, all right. Bro. All right, here we go. Yeah, you better King watch. You better watch yourself, kid. <laughs> talking like that. You know who's the only honest character in this game? Xiao Khan. I know you're gonna say it. I got it. Collector. Oh, you, you were gonna say Xiao? Sure. No, Collector. <laughs> nah, Collector magic, dude. You know it. All right, here we go. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. 
Yeah, guys, is Collector cheap? Let me know in the chat. Let, be honest. Is Let me know in cheap? the chat right now if Collector's cheap. Yeah, he's come on, boys. Don't fail no, me he's on not. this one. Don't fail me on this one, boys. Collector's fair and honest. As a matter of fact, he's actually very sexy. Now that's a different. That's a different conversation. Collector's solid. Yeah, he's good. All right. Let's get into this match. King Gambler popped out. It's pretty even right now. Nothing really too crazy been going on so far. Kind of just a little bit of a slug. Oh, are we going to see Fatal? Yeah, spend it. Not going to kill, I don't think, because it just started with the Ice Ball, actually. It's still... Mm, no. Oh, yes, it will, right? Does it do six? Wow, I did 80. I'm sorry. Wow, that actually killed. 44%. I can't damage. believe it. Just that was from, a lot of damage, yeah, That was bro. literally raw Ice Ball into Fatal. I could not believe that. Hey, yo, what's his name? Packing Heat, though. Yo, no, these what players, is with these variation in Yeah, yo, these, play, these players better fall back with all that crazy talk. Nah, they gotta Good chill with the variation up. names. It's actually mainly just pop he was a, He's the one who's had all the sus variations. Yeah, yeah, for real. He's gonna push him down into the corner. Good block on the flawless block. He's gonna open Dude, him up with good. the Grand Discus. I actually love the uh, the parry usage from pop -Tart. We see it from Aztec too, but pop has been making it work really well in both of the sets we've seen today. But Gambler, yeah. he can make this comeback for sure. Sub zero, it's really two hits. Uh oh. Oh, unlucky grab timing, just a little too early. Oh, parry. That was weird. Okay. Oh, grab. Here we go. A lot, of, a lot of staggers coming from King Gambler. Gonna open him up with a throw. No way, that's right. Oh. Okay, one more hit. Oh, this slide tape. Oh, my. Oh, is that crushing you up? Nah. Bro, are you wow. serious? I was thinking he was gonna do overhead sliding. This goes raw slide on wake up. That was demon. That was so demon. Is that what we're doing Bro, in a five hundred dollar tournament in top eight? Is that how we're playing it? Are you yes. serious? Is that what we let do? me let me let me explain something. I mean, you know this more than anybody. When it comes to a tournament where there's a lot of money on the line, it takes you know anything goes when it comes to the victory. Whatever this game has to offer, you're gonna set it on the table and you're gonna throw it at your opponent. Whether it's it. zoning relentlessly, whether it's being a Scorpion, cheap son of a gun with 50-50s, <laughs> you're gonna use it at your disposal. I cannot believe Gambler did that. I, I was praising Gambler for his safe, his safe, honest gameplay, and he hits the raw slide KB to close out the match. That was funny. That was sick. But Gambler takes the first game. He really wants to make it far in this tournament. I know for sure. He he he's been putting in a lot of time. So I I, I would love to see. Uh, I want to see how far this set can go. Pop Tart though, he's been doing really well in all of these bracket matches. He's been pretty much undefeated until the top eight started. So let's see. Fight. Game number two. Game number two, and possibly one of the coolest maps in Mortal Kombat 11, the Deadpool. Let's yeah, see how this, this goes one. down. My favorite part about this stage is the dude in the background that gets dipped into the acid real slowly, who's bagged <laughs> up, and then you see him just suffering. Right. So cool. Yeah, this stage is so sick. I love that they brought back some of these classic stages, remastered. It's so cool. Yeah, really good corner pressure right now from Pop Tart. Yeah, looking good right now. Again, the life lead's pretty the life is pretty even, but Gambler gets the jump in. Sub Zero is jumping oh, very bro. hard to enter here. Very nice. Oh my god. He tries gosh, to put the pressure, but a perfectly timed ice ball stopping it in his tracks. Yeah, look at Gambler's just backing oh. off. Doesn't do anything else too crazy. Game one. Oh, the command grab. Here we go. Pop tart. He can easily make this comeback. How much health is this gonna leave him? Like 47. He really needs two hits in a fatal boy, and that's GG's. Oh, nice Fatal Blow. Down two. That was beautiful. Fatal Blow into GG's is the story of Mortal Kombat 11 right there. No way, the down one ticks to right. That was a good read. He had to make two reads oh. there to get this one. Okay, good luck, Gambler. Oh, nice. Overhead. That's dead. Wow, and he was able to keep his Fatal Blow on deck. That is really good stuff from King Gambler. That was actually a great choice. The fight, that, that's the, one of the first times we've seen him use the overhead in his set. And he, of course, he does the safe option and it works out nice. EX disc. Yeah, that's a weird option. I mean, weird situation with Kotal versus Sub. Like, Sub doesn't get a guaranteed check there, so it's a bit interesting. Escape failed. This is scary now. Yeah, you can see Gambler's so scared. A throw KB is on deck. Command grab is mid command grabs. Oh my god. Pop Tart is making all the reads right now. Bro, the sequence that he's delivering here, it looks so smooth. He's flowing like the wind with Yo! this Kotokan pressure. He's dead. Hey. He hey, is definitely bro. dead. Basically a flawless. Very nice. Wow. 
That was basically a floss right there from Pop Tart. That was so good. And the escape failed throw is still there. I think that's really what made everything different. That you could see Gamble was so scared of the throw that he was getting hit by everything. Yeah, for real. Really nice throw coming from uh, King Gambler there. Goes with the down poke. He's gonna open him up with the, with the low. This is peak Sub-Zero gameplay right now. Tries to shimmy him with the low again. Oh, that delay was I'm sick. Sorry, not letting it happen. And the conversion. Nah, pop has gonna chill right now. He's playing so good. That last round, and then now he's already playing so good in this round. Forward two, no disc. Interesting. Gambler yeah, gets the 50-50. Is this dead? Not dead. Oh, wait, KB. Whoa, oh my god. That killed. is gonna kill. Yeah, once I saw the standing four, I'm like, all right, crushing blow's happening. King Gambler up 2-0 over Pop Tart right now with the sub. Damn. Holy cow. He's looking this good right crazy, now. This is crazy, bro. He really is looking good. I mean, King Gambler started off strong, ending strong here. Pop Tart is gonna have to make a monumental comeback if he wants to survive. And we've seen two potential ones back to back already, Wasminator. So we could see uh, another one. I don't and even, maybe this time yeah. it'll be successful. The 2-0 like 2-0 lead in this tournament actually means nothing, honestly. When you get the 2-0, it's like it's like okay, now the set starts, boys, because we've seen the last three sets have all been like three twos, right? The last three, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's crazy, but looks like we're gonna see the Kotal Khan. Nothing changing there. I don't expect anything from Pop Tart. Anything else from Pop Tart? He does have a few other characters, but his Kotal is by far stronger. So definitely to stick it out with that one. Same variation. Everything is the same. Game number three. Here we go, boys. Let's get it on. Let's get ready to rumble. King Gambler versus Pop Tart. Potential final game. As King Gambler sitting pretty in a 2 0 lead. Can Pop Tart bring it back? Chat, I want to see you right now. Let's see one in the chat if Pop Tart brings it back. Let's see a two in the chat if he's toast. Let us know. You guys think he can make this reverse 3 0? He's been close. I mean, it's, it's, it's been a couple. Reverse three guys. We've seen a lot of crazy matches in this event since yesterday as well. So like, you never know what can happen at this point. And hey, also, hey. if you haven't slapped that thumbs up button already, let me tell you, if you don't slap that thumbs up button in the next two seconds, me and Wazminator are both at the same time going to Aaron Black forward for you out of the chat. <laughs> yes, please hit the like button. Let's try and get a thousand viewers on this stream. That would be actually crazy. Right thousand now, viewers, let's, let's break a thousand likes and get hype. Let's go, Pop Tart looking good again. It, right, I swear every time, every time like we look at the life bars, it's always so even. These guys are so evenly matched. King Gambler just able to clutch out those first two games. The overhead again. Oh, he went for the risky one this time. It's dead, right? Yep, slide. Dead. Wow, Gambler taking a risk. Pretty rare from him. Like I've said it multiple times. Pretty rare to see him take a risk, but that one was a true 50-50 for the game. So I like it. When it really counts, he'll go for that risk. Indeed. He tries to pressure him with the back two, forward two, whatever it is. The Kotal Khan special. Oh nice. my god, that neutral duck out of nowhere. Did you just see that from Kotal yeah, Khan? Such a good micro duck. That was kind of crazy. Oh god, the grab. 13% short off. Nah, you cannot read Pop Tart's offense, man. It's so scary. Look at the command grab now. He just mixes it up so well. Command grab, A. What's next? Oh, this, this dude is pissed. He Yo! definitely doesn't want to go out with the 3-0. He He's trying to stay alive so here. That was crazy. He held the parry for so long. Okay. Nice down one. Yeah, the early jumping, you can usually get out of that one. No way. The micro duck again. Detroit. He does it again. Pop Tart oh, staying this, alive. This dude is on cloud nine right now. Are you serious? Bro, Pop Tart looking good. His offense in that round was so good. His defensive choices were great as well. Like, he just played that one so well. Very nice. Slowly approaching here. Oh, double down four from Gambler. That was actually really good. You don't see him do the double down four too often. But, oh, it's going to be KB. Yeah, this is big. He can break away immediately. Okay. Yep. Again, no way, dude. Pop Tart looking good. His confirms have been perfect as well. Even off the jab. Bro, this is looking like all Pop Tart right now. Pop Tart, can you do right. this? <gasps> and look at that. It looked like King Gambler wanted to tag him with a six frame down one. But Pop Tart immediately scooping it up with a whiff punish and a half. Nah, he's playing ridiculous right now. Gotta be scared of that EX Ice Ball. It's coming. Oh my god, nice. 2-2. Two, two. No follow-up. No special Dude. cancel. Oh, he's dead. And it's, it's like he can't get thrown either. He, he ducked the throw every single time or either poked out of it. Dude. Wow. Uh, what an adjustment. His offense was looking great. He had, Like you said, he got out of all the jabs or all the grabs every time. Like The thing with Gambler, he was, he was going for a lot of grabs or like standing 1-2 as a reversal. So I think... That's what needs to change for Gambler, but Pop Tart was very aware of that. 
He didn't. He bro. He just did whatever he wanted that round, pretty much. That was so good. Straight up. Tart. That was really good. Pop tart looking really, really good right there. Ties doesn't tie it up yet. It's still two to one. Gamble still has a set lead, but you know we've seen it a couple times now. Reverse three are possible. We might get a two two set right now. We'll see. Yeah, I would definitely like to see this comeback because then it'll kind of paint like a, a nice story that we had here. You know, three potential reverse comebacks back to back. Yeah, exactly. That's that kind of sick. That would be actually you don't sick. you don't see that every day. You know, you don't get to see that every day in Mortal Kombat 11. That's what happens at this level, though, right? Like this, the first of two. When it's first of two, you don't see as many comebacks, obviously. But when you get that, when you lose two, you have that like enough information to kind of download and adapt. And I think that's what we're seeing from Pop Tide right now. But Gambler. No slouch himself. Top 8 at EVO. The, the biggest event of last year. So let's see. Can Gambler close it out? Ooh. Pop Tart. Can he tie it up 2-2? Two two? Let's go. Game number 4, boys. We're definitely about to find out here as Pop Tart oh. approaches with some insane pressure right off the rip. Beautiful Goes for the command right. throw. And he gets to keep the corner position. Lovely. Pop Tart is doing it again, man. No way. Ooh. Can this guy make a wrong read? Seriously, he's, he's been making so many right reads right now. Oh my. Oh my God. Scooped him out of the poke. Are you kidding me? Pop Tart, you got to stop. Oh, he went for another grab. Nah, he's playing too. Nah, nah, nah. Destroy all. He's trolling, right? Hey, man. We might have to end it. We might have to just give Pop Tart the trophy right now after this, after this is, performance. Is he, tro is he trolling right now? He's playing so good. Fight. Hey. Just opening him up with a raw uh, mid. King Gambler looks like he's very flustered here. Oh my goodness. The amount of damage on the screen. 45%. This portal con is unleashing hell. And he went for another command grab, dude. He's gone savage right now. He's the KB from Gambler. 40%. Short hop. Talk about you don't impress me. Oh, this is going to be a good conversion. Yeah. Had to break away that one. Creepy nice. Keeps it mealless. That's tricky. Oh my god, look at the pressure from Gambler right now. You're not getting out of the corner. Hey, hey, not dead yet. Still gonna, still gonna be so... Yeah. Oh, the overhead though. Man, King Gambler, what a round from him. What a turnaround. King Gambler, King yeah. Gambler now. Set point. One round away from moving on in the bracket. Here we go. Goes for the interactable. An incredible duck, but a perfectly timed ice ball stopping Pop-Tart right in his tracks. Good block on the mids. He tries to open him up again with some more staggering here. The overhead's gonna come in clutch. Oh my god. Oh, just rolls right out into a command throw. Not again. Are we gonna witness what we saw like a couple seconds ago, Waz? Just non-stop it's, command it's throws. Looking like back that. To back to back. It's looking like that. Goes for the tick throw. What's next? Yeah, Another off. command throw. Again. No. Oh my god. Pop top, please don't. Don't do it to this man. He's only human. Nice. Do it to him again. Hit him on another command throw. Oh! <laughs> no, the down two was so smart right there. Doesn't give him a chance to break away. Pop time ties it up two to two. Nah, bro. Dude, that down two was quite explosive. I mean, just like you said, not giving him a chance to break away, just locking him down in some guaranteed damage to close it out. Pop tart looking pretty. T damn good right now, Waz. And we kind of manifested it. It's going down to the wire again. He's we got another 2-2 two -two situation between both of these knuckleheads. This should be interesting. I don't know if there's going to be any characters. I don't think we'll see a character swap. I think they're both, just, they're both playing ridiculous right now. Yeah, I see someone in the chat said, remove mid command grabs. Hey, he needs it though. That's what Codal players will tell you. He needs it. Pop Tart looking really good right now, man. The, the offense was a huge switch up from the last two games. I said it earlier that he's he's like the most aggressive total, and I think you saw it in the first two games. It was like we weren't seeing it as much, but now he's really yeah. stepped it up. He's really turned it up. Oh, for sure. He definitely has turned it up. Will Pop Tart be able to be the first one in this reverse comeback situation to actually close it out? Or will the train be stopped as King Gambler fight. prepares to eat dirt from the floor? Forward, like forward, a pig. Great start. Oh, what is going on? I don't even know what's going on. One, two, the shimmy. Okay, Gamble using that overhead quite a bit into Creepy Nice in this set. I've seen it a lot from him today. Yeah, seriously, he does not hold up with that. Oh, the jump in. This is big. We're going to see break. Yeah, you have to. 4 2 4. Nice poke. Pop Tart does mix up 4 2 4 options quite a bit. Parry. Then he'll do this. Like, it's really hard to make the read on him on that situation. So I like the down one there. 
He's going crazy right now. Oh, I can jump, jump in. Dude, this is big. Very unfortunate for King Gambler. He went for the 4-2 creepy nice, but because the 4-2 whiffs, he gets the full string instead. Very unlucky on his part. But Pop-Tart, don't commit that in the game, bro. Don't do it. Oh, overhead. Yeah, hold, hold on, hold on. To jump in from King Gambler, but Pop-Tart right now, he's really putting, just pushing buttons at the perfect moment, stopping uh, King Gambler's pressure any moment he gets. This isn't going to kill. Oh. Right. No, it's, but Sunlight is a threat now. Oh, wow. Oh, he's dead. Match point for Pop Tart. You could see the, the, the yeah, that was the reason Gambler did that was because the sunlight was coming. He was just like he was so confident that he was gonna just go for the sunlight. Yeah, this is getting very dangerous right now. Gambler, can you stay alive in the tournament? Now he's actually down. This is crazy. Pop Tart on set point for the first time in the set. Oh, oh my, my God. God! I cannot believe it's not Butter Wagonator. Here we go. Oh, we have the wake up slide. Gambler, he's looking a little bit desperate right now. I gotta do something a little bit crazy. You have to. Nice floor spot from Pop Tart. That was sick. Al, look at the floor spots from both of these guys right now. Are you serious? Yeah, they're really sweating. I mean, when you got a prize pool like the one we have for this tournament here, you are gonna start seeing these players turn into straight savages. Dude, the floor spot game from Gambler right now. So consistent. Okay, here we go. 50 50 time. Does he spend the fatal? He might. I yeah. think he goes for the reset. No? Spend the fatal. Now it's literally like 50 50 dead. Anything will kill. Such a scary situation for both players. How are we gonna. What's gonna happen? Let's see. Oh my god. Oh! Yo! Oh my god, that was so smart. He went for the plus frames off of the jump kick, the down one, and just jailed the pressure. Beautiful stuff Yo, from King Final Gamble. round, boys. Here we go. Final round. Oh my gosh. Nice conversion too. That was a really good conversion. That was so optimal. One, two, four. Nah, that was way too optimal. That was sick. Big boy damage too. Yo, nice. Makes the read. Finally reads the command grab. Gamble's oh my god. Sick. Nice Bro, play. I cannot tell you. I don't even know what's going to happen here. Dude, I and King Gambler is loading up that crushing blow, so Pop-Tart cannot get attacked. Look at the life lead on Gambler right now, but Pop-Tart, we know he can make this comeback for sure. Oh, massive nice life lead. This is scary. Guys, no way. One, two. Nice patience. Oh, Pop -Tart the, trade. Just, the trade was so unlucky for Pop-Tart there. He made the right read. KB? Dead. Oh, wow. He's dead. King Gambler goes for the risky 50-50, takes the set 3-2 and advances in the bracket with the friendship too. Let's go. Very nice. You'll love to see the friendship. You want to know what's crazy? We had this same fate happen three times back to back already, Wazminator. Man, oh my god. None of them able to close out the reverse comeback. And this is crazy. it is just quite unfortunate, but man is it hype. What a crazy set from both of these players. Great performance from Pop-Tart. Unfortunately, he's out of the tournament now, but Gambler showing why he is one of those one of the best players right now making top eight at evo i think gambler right now if we had a big offline event with all the players like from every region he would probably be top 10 in the world right now to be honest he's so good right now but that just shows you the level of this tournament right like it's just so stacked that every match is going down to the wire at this level of play it's like everybody is so good at the game now it's crazy it's just so crazy yeah, and another factor to, to keep in mind is not only are these players like, you know, freaking insane at the game, but I do feel like all those top tier characters, Cetrion, Jackie Briggs, Sub-Zero, I feel like they're all getting, you know, easier to read, especially in the higher mm. scale of, of gameplay. You know, everyone yeah, yeah, just yeah, knows yeah. how to deal with them a lot better. So I feel like top tiers can also be someone's demise nowadays in Mortal Kombat yeah, 11 I think, 2023. I think it's with extra, more like... Extra milk. It's like, yeah, as, as time's, time has gone on, more people have gotten a lot better with the other characters. So that the, those characters have like kind of risen in the tier list. And then, as you said, like, because obviously we've been playing against the top tiers for a while now, we're kind of, the matchups are a lot more like easier because we know a lot more, but the characters are still like, obviously what they are. But at the end yeah, of the day, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. definitely gotten easier. And like, that's why you see a bit more of a character spread instead of like, you know, when Aftermath first came out, there was like, pretty much like three to four characters in every top eight <laughs> but uh, we're definitely seeing more now i'm um, just back out of that room really quick i'll get the next match going yo are you guys enjoying Damn, the I stream keep, i keep forgetting the back out of the room i keep forgetting the back out of the room look deal. man i'm sorry i'm no sorry deal. all right no big deal someone just said yo, i'm what's sorry up? what's up brian he said i got here late how far in the tourney are we so we're about i would say about halfway um you can click the bracket link that's pinned in the chat so right now if we look at the bracket we have one two 
three, four. We have about six sets left um, if there's no reset in the bracket. So we're just about halfway at this point. Um, if you want to see the bracket, like I said, it's pinned in the chat. Shout out to the 900 viewers watching right now. By the way, while we're midway in the tourney, Destroyer, please let us know where we can find you and all your MKX craziness. Uh, I know you have some crazy MKX content out there that I've personally played in quite a bit. So please let the people know while we are get the next match set up. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's uh, at Destroyer FGC. We got it right over the uh, the screen here. At Destroyer FGC. That's for all the socials. Go check me out. Go follow me. If not, then go go screw yourself. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Destroyer, kidding, kidding, Destroyer, chill, chill, Destroyer kidding, has chill, like... Chill, kidding, yo, what? Destroyer has basically made MKX a crazy game even still to this day and kept it really alive like for years now. Um, so if you really want to see, no, it's not just MKX, but I would say that's like the primary stuff right now. Um, so if you want to see some crazy MKX content, if you enjoy MKX, if you play the game even, just go to Destroyer's stuff and you can literally play in his, in his content and on his stream, like for free. It's sick. So, um, thank you. So yeah, thank you. Definitely go son. He posted thank all, you, he, he, posted son. all uh, he posted all the stuff on YouTube too. So you can go and check it out. All right. Let's I invite really, these really players. appreciate you. I got you. What do you think? Uh, right. do, you, do you think that because I, I think MK12 is coming soon? Could be Copium, could be true. But do you think we're going to see a faster paced game again like MKX? Or what do you think? So, what do you think? Because I know like most people, a lot of people say they want to see that faster paced return. But I personally like MK11 the most. Like I'm, I'm a little bit weird in that regard. I like MK11 is my favorite one, to be honest. But a lot of people don't oh, yeah. agree with that. So. Well, you know, regardless if it's like MK11, if it's like MKX, I hope we get something new. That's all I want, you know, yeah. because at the end of the day, having a, a, a new, you know, new mechanics to play with, it just gives so much more to explore with and just so much more to experiment with. And at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, it's going to be fun regardless of what we end up getting. Because you got, you got to remember when Mortal Kombat 11 first came out, Everyone was in love with it, you know. Everyone just yeah, had yeah, good yeah. things to say about it. It was like, yo, the footsies, the neutral, everything is just so good. Exactly. But as the game developed, people started growing stronger opinions for it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I remember when I first played MK11, just having new stuff to play with. It was all fun. It was just all yeah, awesome. I, I think that's what, yeah. see what was going on. And as long as we get that same treatment for Mortal Kombat 12 or whatever the hell they call it. That's going to be awesome. I agree. I agree. Yeah, something new is always, it's kind of, when it gets to this point, it's what we all like are hoping for. And I think Netherrealm always comes up with something crazy and something new for every game. So I don't think, I don't think we'll be lacking in that department. But here we go. Hijinx versus Aztec is starting right now. Game number one. Here we go. Wow, goes for the command grab. Seeing Kotal Khan again, no surprise. Like I said, there's two really good Kotal Khan plays in this bracket. So let's see. This is the loser side as well. Let's see if Hijinx can keep his run going or if Aztec's going to stop him right here. Yeah, see if he's gonna be able to stop him. Okay, good kitty cat attack coming from Emperor Aztec. Yo, we've been getting a lot of Kotal Khans in here, man. Do right. not sleep on Kotal Khan. This character will pull up with the big nipples and smack you in the face. Dude, he has, in the last like two years, he just went from like, he was always good, but now he's like always like, he's like, in my opinion, he's like really top tier at this point. He's so good in this game. And I think credit to all the Kotal Khan players that were already playing him before he got buffed and before everything changed. But yeah, he's looking really, really good. Also, someone asked in the chat if I'm going to keep the stream up. Yeah, this stream will stay up after it's over. So, and it'll all be timestamped within like the next 12 hours. So you'll be able to watch it all back. Oh, nice. A -A. Very good pressure. He's going to keep him in the corner. Drops the combo, unfortunately, giving Emperor Aztec an opportunity to escape here. You don't want to drop combos on a player like Aztec. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to eat dust for it. Wow, yeah, nice grab from Hijinx. Man, Hijinx is looking pretty unstoppable right now. Nice grab again. That's GG's. He's going to die. Wow. Yeah, put it on the ground. Oh, he didn't even need to. This guy's for the chip. Nah, and he held it for the disrespect. That was a little disrespectful. I see you, Jinx. Looking good, game Jackie one. Briggs. Jackie Briggs. Uh, this is the only... We might see it from Unjust, but I don't know. This might be the only Jackie player we see in this bracket today. I don't know. We'll see. Really? It's, it's surprising, right? We always thought, like... You always think Cabal, and Jackie, and, like, Cetron, right? And, like, Fuji. We haven't even seen... I don't think we've had a single Fujin on stream. Even yesterday, we didn't have one. I'm pretty sure. Really? Which is really and, weird uh... to me. Were there a lot of crazy matches that went down yesterday before the right. top eight was uh, situated? It was like the same thing, bro. It was like game Jackie five so many times, like some crazy. 
I was saying so much yesterday. I'm like, I can't believe this isn't the top eight right now. Like all the matches were like the same caliber of play. So close. Wow. Like, at this point, man, like this tournament, if you look at the bracket, it's like the top 16 is like, it's, it's like a, it's like a major. It's literally like a major event. It's crazy. The, 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 the level of play that we're seeing nowadays is just ridiculous in this game. And I think it's just because these players have stuck it out with this game, right? They didn't, they didn't stop playing. They've, they've put all the time in and you can see yeah. it paying off for these guys too. Well, you love to see it. It's just hype entertainment for everybody here. And here we go. We're getting right back into it. Uh, forward two and a dream. Emperor Aztec. Can he close this out? And this is still uh, the lower side, right? Yeah, this is the loser's bracket right now. So this will be to get into... Let me have a quick look. This will be to get into the match before loser's final. So very, very close to the loser's final now. We're almost there. But this is actually important. This is really important. Oh, I found, I found, I found the bracket. Yeah, yeah, it's a pin, it's a pin on the thing. So this match it. right here. So, so for the top, at, um, for the payout, by the way, just to give you guys some info, top three is getting paid out. So you're really close. If you're these players right now, you're really close to getting, uh, getting into the money. So you really want to get in there right now and stay alive in this bracket. You need to win two more matches if you're one of these guys to get money. So it's really, really close. But Aztec staying alive. Look at the pressure right now from Aztec. Look at the lead. Oh, nice anti-air to end the armor break, bro. Oh Deep my god. 35%. Aztec is looking unstoppable right now. We're going to see Sun. Come here, grab. Oh my god. <laughs> he really and closed man... out. No Can way. this man be stopped? Was that a flawless? Okay, it wasn't a flawless, but it was very close. He closes out the match with a command grab. I guess with that much life, it's like you can just take the risk, right? What's the worst that can happen when you have that much of a life lead? Aztec looking like a Real. savage right now. That was sick. Tying it up one to one. This is like maybe the, this might not be the set. I mean, this might be another set where we see another game five again. Like, that's the thing. I, I mean, yeah. has every match been game five so far? Everything in losers has been game five. The two winner sets were both actually. 3-0, which is interesting. So, yeah, winner side, it was 3-0, 3-0. And then every match in losers has been a game five so far. So, that's crazy to think about. That's actually wild. So, we played, what, four sets in winners? Jackie I mean, in Briggs. losers? This is the fourth one, yeah. Kobo so, Kong. we are seeing uh, a lot of game fives in the losers side. The we'll be, after this match, guys, we'll be going to the winners final. So, after this, we'll go to winners finals. Tweety versus Unjust. They, they are already guaranteed top three. So, they are already in the money. But... Obviously, you want to get to grand finals winner side over anything because that is where your chances are way higher to win and obviously you get more guaranteed money too. So, um, yeah, we're going to definitely see... We're going to see some crazy matches in the next few hours. We probably got about an hour or so, hour and a half left, I'd say. Okay, very nice. Uh, right away, starting off with the grand discus, meter burn wants to keep the plus frames on lockdown here. Not trying to give up his turn. Oh, tries to get the jump back. Wanted to punish off of that jump back one, but just out of range. Aztec looking so good in this matchup now. He's been anti all the gaps. He's been just playing it so well. Backs off. He actually has, uh, I think he has the air cap maybe. Because I'm seeing him do a lot of jump backs and he does love using that move. So that would make sense. But look at, the, look at him right now. He's just playing so good. Oh my God. Double down one command grab. Is he going to get the meter? Disgusting. No. No meter, but it's pretty scary to get out of this. Wait. Hi, Jinx. Can you do it? This has to be a huge comeback. I think comeback. he can. Th this is Jackie Briggs. The Whoa. comeback is... Oh, was that guaranteed? Guaranteed. If you get hit by the down four, unblockable is guaranteed after. Obviously, you have to commit. But if you get lucky and it does hit, it will it will guaranteed hit. I Jinx went for wow. the command grab. Bro. Nah, I stack. You got to stop. You got to stop. I Jinx, though. Come on. Let me see it. KB. Yeah, just get the damage. Catch it out. Oh, they're both scared of the interactable. Nah, that was crazy. Both neutral ducking like that. That was crazy as hell. That was just showing a lot of respect from both players here to just, you know, they, both duck, stare each other down. That's crazy. They both weren't even blocking. It's because they're both so scared of that command grab in the corner. The interactable right there, guaranteed, like, it's an actual mid command grab, I think. So, oh, sorry. It's a, it's a high command grab, so that's why. No, wait. Is that KB? No. No KB, but he's just about one touch away from sealing the deal. Uh-oh. That Fatal Boy, they both have it. Nice stagger from hijinks. That was really good. One hit from either player. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe Emperor Aztec just woke up with the Fatal Blow like Are that. Are you serious? And just closing it out. Oh, he is dead serious. That's how he feels? Nah, bro. The wake up Fatal Boy. Aztec. 
two to one right now. Are we going to see a game five though? Hijinx has been stepping it up quite a bit. So I, I don't even know where the set's going to go at this point. But Aztec looking really good with the Kotal. Hijinx actually really close to making that like, making that his game. It was like every match at this point is just so close that you can't really even like. It's not like a, it's not favored in any players in any players like way. It's just so good from both players. Right. Straight said, up, man. Straight up. Someone in the chat said, I respect it. Damn. That's, you got to respect someone respecting the wake up fatal. That's crazy. Shows how much 11 has changed. Yeah, exactly right. It's, Mortal Kombat 11 has changed quite a bit. Even though there hasn't been Google updates Kong. for a while, the gameplay has changed Jackie quite a bit. Bruce. Micro ducking has completely changed everything. Um, a lot of the character choices have Black also like, kind of changed. Fight. Not as much as you'd think. Obviously, the game hasn't been updated, but there's been more characters that have shown up lately. So. It's nice to see, man. It's good to see the meta change, even though the actual, like, game data hasn't changed. It's sick. Oh, and it's always like that. I mean, you give a game enough time, you let these players, you know, sit down and just keep on learning new things with these characters, you'll start seeing some ridiculous stuff. I mean, look at Mortal Kombat 11 2023. These characters we see time and time again, you just start seeing new stuff, man. It's nuts. Exactly, and the players just keep getting better and better, and that's what—that's the beauty of it, right? That's like, there's no, there's no, there's no cap. Like you can't get to a point where it's like you literally can't. You can always improve. I mean, bro, look, look, look at the uh, the Chile twins. You know? Exactly. Yeah, ridiculous. Dude, look at that's that. Look at like, his oh my! God. Mortal Kombat 11 grinding right there. Exactly right. And but man, hijinks had him in the corner. That was two hits. Had him burning in the corner the entire time. That was so crazy. That was sick. Yeah, really nice stuff. Hijinx is going to have to do more of that if he wants to tie things up 2-2. Two two. Good throw. Playing no oh. it safe. Yeah, that's the thing with Kotal. You, it's so hard to whiff punish. Even though he's 4-2, he's kind of slow. Like, if you see a whiff... Oh! Wow, what is going on? Oh, nice double this time. Yeah, Aztec's been interrupting that one a lot. So you have to spend two bars there to make it, like, a, a threat, I guess. Oh, my. The Very floor, nice. The Flawless block into the up two. This is going to be massive damage. While she's burning in the sun, that couldn't have gone any better for Aztec right there. Tags him with the, the big boy sword. Gone up a, in, in half. And Damn, there it Aztec. is. Aztec on a match point situation. Mortal Kombat 11. Jackie Briggs versus Kotal Khan for the 30th time. This is crazy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. That was actually really smart. He didn't commit. Just did the 4-2 by itself. That was actually sick. I like that. But Hijinx just sitting back. He's not doing anything right now. Yeah, look. You see, you see Aztec with the first hit. But Hijinx, it's so hard that we find it even still. Wow, the down to KB. Are we going to see armor break? Yeah, he went for it. He went we for are. It. We're going to see it right oh, now. Oh, wow. The wake up. Interactable. Savage. Last minute. Does she think she's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre or what? Hold one, two. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Command grab. Aztec looking good right now. He just needs one more hit. We'll gr one more hit grounded will pretty much kill. But Hijink, okay. he's been in this situation so many times now. He's made a comeback. Oh, they're swinging. They're both swinging. Wait, 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 wait. What is this stagger pressure? No. He's got fatal blow, bro. Does he go for it? I think he's gonna Oh wait. my god, look at this patience. He's just walking back. No, he went for that the whip punish. punish. That's the thing. That's so hard to whiff punish that one. Hijinx, come oh, on. Oh, really? Can Watch me whiff punish in one try. Hijinx. Oh, that's dead. Yep, that is definitely dead. Wow, Aztec. Wow. Finally, we don't see a game five in the loser side. Aztec winning the set three to one with the Kotal Khan. Hijinx, thank you for playing. You did really well in this event. You did awesome, but Aztec. The stronger player for today. Moving on in the bracket. Wow, that was sick. That was actually sick. Yeah, bro. Big shout outs to Hijinx for just, you know, dishing out the performance that we witnessed here. He definitely went crazy. And at the end of the day, he gave it his best shot. What can I he say? Snapped. Have a good he day. He Have really a good, good day. What can I say? <laughs> I think, um. so now moving forward. So let me just quickly look at the bracket. So we have about three to four. We have four more sets left, I think. Maybe five if there's a reset. But we will go into the winner's side now. So it's going to be... Let's have a quick look. Tweety versus Mighty matches. Unjust. Bro, Tweety versus Mighty Unjust is crazy. So next to that will be Tweety versus Mighty Unjust. Then in the loser's side, we still have King Gambler Aztec. And then the winner of those two will play the winner of the next set you're going to see. So yeah, there's like four more sets left. So we're just a little over halfway. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Um, someone... Asked if Tweety's in this, I just answered that question for you there. So yeah, Tweety's in the uh, 
winners winners uh, finals you're about to see right now. So and, yeah, he's playing next, right? Tweety versus uh, Johnny Tweety, Baloney. Tweety versus Johnny Baloney, mighty unjust. We're gonna see that set next. Um, let me get these plays in there right now. How's you guys' day so far? It's 10:21 a.m. for me right now, so my day has been the stream basically, but it's been going 10, really 21 good. 10:21 a.m. Yeah, actually, what time is it for everyone right now? What time is it for you, Destroyer? Like, six, uh, it's uh, 6:21 six, six, yeah, p.m. for me right now. Yep. EST, right? All right, let me see. And yo, know, again, big shout out to everybody pulling up because you know today is the uh, what the Super Bowl. I know. So shout out to was, everybody, you know, crazy, trashing that, that garbage football and pulling Damn. up for, for, for a real for a real man sport. Yo, Mortal Kombat. Okay, I'm Mortal Kombat. We just need to get on Justin here. So when when as soon as on is in here, I'll get the invite sent out. But oh, you want to go watch the Super Bowl? All right, so I'll see you later, Waz. Oh, he's going to the bathroom. Okay, all good on Just. This is the Super Bowl of Mortal Kombat 11 for 2023, boys. This is it. We're in the Super Bowl of MK11 right now. Are you trying to do it again? Yeah. Okay, I thought you were trying to freeze on me again. You looked frozen. I was like, oh, no. real man sport. Esports. 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 Okay, we're just waiting for on Just right now. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. So, yeah, like I said, we got four more sets left. Um, if you didn't catch any of the top 32 yesterday, by the way, when this stream ends, you can just go back to my YouTube channel. The video's there. It's all timestamped. You can check it out. Tweety and Just Grand Finals. No, that is Winner's Finals. So the winner of this next set will go into Grand Finals with the winner side advantage. Um, but these guys are guaranteed top three. So, yo, what's up, Demands? I see you. Nice. Yo, shout out to all the members of the channel, too. I see you guys in there. Shout out to all the members, bro. So we are officially at the top four of the tournament is what you're telling yeah, that's me. That's exactly right. That is true. We are in top four now. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, man. Listen, the next four. time you do one of these, I'm going to try to enter and I'm going to try to make top eight with Collector. Do it, bro. Do it. I want to see it. I will. And if I lose, you're going to rig it so I win. <laughs> all right. I'll do it. Deal? All right. We'll make a deal. You all just right. have... Okay, let's see. Let's see. Esports, it's in the game. Yeah, actually, that, that actually is what I thought too. Okay, it's 11.22 p.m. Damn. 11, oh, that's UK time, right? 1.25 a.m. 11, a lot of 11.21s. I see you guys. 1.21 a.m. Yo! Shout out to you guys staying up. Yo, Zane, my favorite MK game is MK11, by the way. Um, Wait, just Waz, what, what, is your, what is your favorite sport? Uh, damn, I don't know. I guess like soccer, like football. We call it soccer in Australia, but... Football, I guess. Like, that's probably my favorite. But I'm not like crazy like sports head or anything like that. Why did someone say twerking? Oh, yeah? in the, why did someone say twerking in the chat? What about bro? you? What about you, chat? Oh, somebody's favorite sport is twerking. Yo! Wow. All right. okay, let me get the uh, let me get the players ready. Well, They're man, breaking, is yeah? a professional twerker. Show us something. Show us what you got. <laughs> Come on, join the court right now. Turn on the camera. Show us what you got. Actually, that's something I should probably if, mention if, right now. If you're so good at twerking. Waz vs Tweety, what do you think? Uh, we've only played one time and I was playing Jackie. It was a long time ago, so it was like a pretty even set, but it was a really long time ago. I think I, I would just be honest. Tweety is probably better than me right now. I would say definitely better than me, but uh, he's he's a very strong player. I, I can't say for sure like how it would go, but we will play at some point and make a video on it. I think in the next month or so, we'll probably do it. Um, yo, what's up, Lynx Frostmane? I see you. Okay, the players are joining right now. Uh, we're just waiting for Destroyer to join. And then we oh, did you invite it. me? I might have missed it. Oh, did you? Do you want me to redo I don't, it? I don't think you invited me. Oh, I, I'll redo it. It's okay. Hold on. Let me just tell the players. Wow, he forgot about me. No, nah, I definitely invited you. No, nah, you definitely forgot. That's oh. how you feel? That's oh, how man. you feel. That's messed up, bro. Someone said, are you guys playing on I thought, PC? I thought we was friends. Now we're playing on, uh, we're on PS4 for this event, but the next one, the next one will probably be console as well, but I will do a PC one in the future. So like I said, I want to try and cover as many platforms as possible. It's just, obviously there's only so much I can do as one, as one event. Can't do multiple platforms, unfortunately. Maybe MK12 will have like crossplay, um, and we might be able okay, to do it that okay. way. That would be well, sick. Would you, right? ever, would, would you ever do like an event where it's like, uh, you know, multiple regions playing at the same time, I would, I like would, you know, would, yeah. NA, EU. Yeah, and I'll, just, you I will know? do that as well. I like, I do like the idea of that. It's just, it's kind of tricky because you know some people are not gonna love, I'm not gonna love it because obviously connection. You can gotta be a slap bit. a disclaimer. Yeah, exactly, exactly right. You know, okay, did you get hey, listen, right? you may run. Okay, I, yeah, I got it. All right, you see. tell them, listen, you may run into lag. You may not. I cannot guarantee anything, but at the end of the day. If you lose, you lose. Exactly right. All right, go AFK. We'll get on just in the, in the lobby. Here we go. All right, boys, are you ready? This is winner's final. Tweety versus Mighty Unjust. 
two of possibly the best players in NA right now. Um, I mean, not even possibly. They're literally the two highest placing players so far in this event. So Tweety wow. versus Unjust. Oh, we are going to see the spawn. I think you said earlier you want to see spawn, right? Yeah, we're actually going... Whoa, wait. What is going on? Oh, okay. oh my. Did he bait? What? Hold on. Let's go. Let's have a look at the game. Wait, what was that bait? It looks like we're actually going to see Garrus versus Jackie instead of Spawn versus Frost. They baited that for sure. Yo, Destroy, I need to go to the bathroom really quick. You're going to carry for the first like round or so. You're going to have to hold it I'll down. I'll hold it down. Listen, you it. Can, you, can you bring me up uh, a pumpkin spice ice latte from Dunkin' Donuts before you come back? Oh, he, he already left? Nah, nah, damn. My boy had a go. I think he's gonna go do the poo poo platter special. But here we go. We got Tweety versus the mighty unjust. Wow. The bracket uh, is pinned in the in the in the chat. I think if you look at on top of the chat, it's pinned on top of the chat. Really nice. Down twoing her shoes off. Gear is losing his, his his mind right now. Gonna karate chop her right in the back of the neck. I think he was trying to pull off the ponytail that Jackie Briggs has on. Rumor has it. <laughs> Round two. Let me not tell you the rumor. It's a little too explicit. Very good counter punish coming from the mighty unjust with the variation name outplayed. Imagine using a character such as Jackie Briggs going with a variation name such as outplayed. Bro! The character's broken! Oh my god. What a crushing blow. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go with a fatal blow coming from Tweety trying to get as much damage as possible. Really nice. And just like that, the Mighty Unjust taking the round. I can't believe it's not butter. Fight. Just backing off slowly but surely. Goes for the forward three into the choke slam. Big boy damage. Gearus has always hit hard in this game. All right, always. Destroyer. What did I miss? I see both of them have a round right now. What is going on? I don't know. I haven't even been watching. Oh my bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Sorry. Red back. <laughs> right, I could hear you coming down. You're going crazy. Oh, this is crazy. These two right now. Both both have a round. Oh, that's gonna be KB, right? Yeah, KB, 34%. 34%, massive. Uh -oh. And that's gonna be a punish coming from uh, Mighty Unjust. Bending the crushing blow. One more touch into Fatal Blow, hit confirm. There's a grab. Waz, can he do this? Oh, conversion? No, no conversion. Wait. Oh, he's, he's dead. No he's way dead. to grab. That he's was dead. so risky to go for, but he did it. It worked out, Unjust taking game number one. Wow, that was sick. Now, what's really scary about this is I feel like neither of these players are going to want to be uh, getting sent down to the loser side because if they do, it might be a GG's. Yeah, I mean, at this point, these guys are probably a little more comfortable than the other players because they're guaranteed some money. Uh, so they'll probably yeah. be a little bit happier. But of course, yeah, they don't. Know, no one wants to go to loser's bracket at this in this tournament. It's It's way too stacked. It is definitely way too stacked. And I mean, right now, just judging the way this play style has been going, I think Mighty had uh, Mighty Unjust has a really good shot at getting into that winner side grand yes. finals. Yeah, looking Jackie really good with the Jackie right now. But Tweety, Tweety's been in so many of these situations before. You know, we've seen Tweety down and make reverse three, reverse three overs. We've seen Tweety clutch out some of the biggest tournaments in the world. Like, this guy yeah. has experience. He's played in like hundreds of online tournaments so many offline majors he's won offline majors this guy is amazing player so let's not count him out just yet tweety can he can he get a, a game on the board but unjust unjust said man shut all that up check me out they got the whiff punish look at the damage he said youtube facebook twitter <laughs> very nice oh good confirm that was sick that was sick Tries to go for the uh, the gauntlet, keeping it safe. What what is the gauntlet? Minus seven? Uh, minus seven. Yep. Wow. But yeah, Jackie. I can't believe Jackie I remember that. A, Jackie can't get a punish. I don't think. But there is a gap, right? You can flawless block it and, and do something. There's only a gap in the full string. There's no gap in between the like the button and gauntlet. It's 
when the, 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 oh. the, the 4 2 1 2 there's a gap, so you can um, you can force block. Jackie has a couple of good options actually, so Jackie's a good pick here, I think. This is gonna almost kill if you sense fate or you might. Oh, okay. Yeah, the scaling would have been a bit too crazy. What's the next read though? Not one going one. for fatal blow. That was nice. a massive damage. Wanted to get the 50 50, but a beautiful block coming from the mighty unjust. Dude, Closing unjust. out one hell of a round. Unjust is looking really strong right now. He's just doing everything really, really well. But Tweety almost had it. He just he took the gamble, took the risk on the 50-50. It's not a true 50-50, but a play like Unjust is always gonna be ready for blocks like that. Oh, look at his life by even when he's even when he's blocking, it's going down. Oh my god. Unjust, we're we gonna see KV? No, you can't get it here. No way. Oh my god, the low gonna connect. This is looking like a onslaught, just as I say that. Oh, the down two crush into good. fatal blow. This could be a lot of damage. Yeah, this I is think... gonna be so much damage. Was it armor break? No, it wasn't, right? It wasn't armor break, but I do think Tweety has a really good opportunity to make the comeback here and now. A near 50% combo? He just needs about two touches in a dream to close it out. Yeah, but look at this. Look at this damage over time right now on the ground. This is big. Grab. He's dying. He's dying right now. Okay, he got out of it. He got out of it. Oh my god, this might be it. Yeah, that's on the ground, right? Dead? No way. No way! Oh. Bro. That Bro, was insane. That, that was possibly the smartest decision he could have went for. Trying to go for the crushing blow to just completely delete. I know, that's what the, I saw the, that, the, right? the, yeah. You know? He didn't want the uh, the gloop to kill him. But it was just too Man, slow. just a couple more HP and he could have done it. It was just a little too slow, right? If he, yeah, if he had a bit more health or if this crushing blow string was a little faster, he would have survived. I guess he made the right choice there. It was just a little bit too... It was too late in the game, I think. His life was just too low. But Unjust... 2-0 right now. Someone said Unjust Jackie is unbelievable. Breaks. Yeah, he's playing ridiculous. Is that the Shore and Waz? Wow. Yes, sir. The boys are back. Commentary. The boys are back. The yes, boys, sir. season four, are <laughs> yeah. back right here. Let's go. All right. Looks like we're gonna not going to see any character swaps. Same same matchup. I saw somebody in the chat saying they actually think Twee should go to Frosty and... I honestly think Frost is really good against Jackie, and Tweety has an amazing Frost, so wouldn't be surprised if he went for it, but he's sticking it out with the Garrus. Same matchup, same stage. Mighty Unjust one game away from moving on to the Grand Finals winner side. Okay, let's get this party started. Immediately tossing the, uh, the Interactable here. Oh, look at this, all this damage on the floor. I don't know why he spent meter on it, but it's so good. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice conversion. No, I dropped it. Unfortunate drop there, but unjust. Nice floor block. Wow. Dude, this guy is a master of the game. Seriously, he's so good at everything. Nice, he confirmed. Tweety, he's been getting caught by pressing like a lot of buttons. Reads the breakaway. Look at the life bar right now, Destroyer. It's just melting. Yeah. This is not right. I mean, the mighty unjust looking to dead. take this winner's Ooh. side grand finals. And he's he got dead. the neutral duck and everything. Wanted the punish, but the, the damage over time not allowing him to, to follow up. Unjust is speedrunning this winner's finals right now against Tweety. He's so good, like, it's, like I said, in every situation. There's the punish. Nice interruption from Tweety. Hold up, Tweety's still in this though. 1-1, one, one, full string. I like it. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, the short hop. There it is. And what's crazy too is the pace they're playing at is like super fast. Exactly. It's not even like it's it's so fast. I feel like a lot of these sets have been really fast. And like the way the way Unjust plays, he's always been a pretty fast place player, like with all the characters he uses. But look at this right now. So much damage. And the oh my god, he's so good at that. The way he ends the combos early, reading the breakaway, it's so smart. One one. Dude, this is looking like GG's, GG's! 3-0 from the Mighty Unjust. Knocking Tweety into the loser's bracket, bro. What a wow. match. What a statement, dude. What a statement from Undust. That was 3-0 right into the winner's uh, grand finals. Yep. Wow. That was ridiculous. Guys, talk to me for a second, guys. How do you feel about that set? I cannot believe... I, I know how good Unjust is, but you wouldn't expect Tweety, someone like that level of, of a player, to get 3 0 right? It's like... Man, I don't even know what to say. I'm so surprised like that it went that it went that quickly, but Unjust showing why he's one of the best players in North America right now. 3-0. Yeah, I didn't see that coming either, right? Someone said I'm putting my money on Unjust. Now, are you saying that now or were you saying that before the winners final? Because it's, it's easy to say it now. But uh man, Unjust played that one really good. So yeah, Tweety unfortunately is now in the losers final. So he's still in the still in a wow. tournament, but he's in the loser side, so he might have to make a little bit of a run back. But yeah, we have, let me see, we have, let me see. We have three more sets left, boys. So only three more sets left, and then the tournament is over. 
I want to quickly give a shout out to everybody that played in the tournament. This the whole point of this tournament was to get as many new players in. Obviously, um, a lot of the people that watch my YouTube videos and streams don't play in tournaments, so I really wanted to get new guys in. Wow! Um, and I think we did that. We did that quite well. Over 100 players um, and a lot of new guys that I knew came from the uh, community. So really cool that you guys came and joined up. Um, if you didn't get the performance that you wanted, don't worry. There'll be more events coming, and there's plenty Very of more nice. events out there. Um, if you want to be a part of this stuff and be ready for the next one, I'll just train up with our community as well. Um, you can join the Discord. I'm going to chuck a link in the chat right now. That way you can join up in the Discord. Over 4,000 people in there. So if you're not in there already... Whoa! Yeah, bro. If you're not in there already, I just spam the link in the chat. Don't spam me for spamming, please. Um, get, into the, uh, get into the Discord. There's uh, like a lot of people in there that... We all just love Mortal Kombat. That's where we all came from. So get in there if you're not in there already. Okay. Very nice. Yo, Carl, I'll see you later, mate. Get some sleep. If I, if you're in London right now, you're probably up pretty late. So shout out to everybody in London watching right now. Let's get the next set going. It's going to be King Gambler versus Aztec. I'm going to send these invites right now. Boom, boom, Ooh, boom. Ooh, King Gambler versus Aztec. This mm. should be interesting. What is it going to be? Probably Sub-Zero versus uh, another Kotal Khans. Yeah, I know. that. That's what I saw someone in the chat that were like, they're like, why is there so many Kotal Khans? It's like, Two of the best Kotal Khan players both just made top eight. That's the only reason it's like that. Um, there's actually these guys would play Kotal Khan no matter what situation. So, um, big tournaments like this are good. Yeah, exactly. They they're really important. You know, tournaments are a really important way to keep the community alive. So, um, one hundred percent. You couldn't have said it any better, man. And you know, there's a lot of people that that are the forefront of you know these community events. So shout outs to everyone that's involved in it. Exactly. Like Mr. Aquaman, yourself, and just everyone who just everyone, you know, shows really love to the community. There. There's some really good events out there. Slayer. Slayer's been doing amazing yeah, yeah. tournaments. Slayer's like, every, been going crazy. Bro, Slayer, Slayer does like a tournament every day, guys. So if you haven't, look up MF Slayer like on Twitter or on Twitch. He does tournaments like every single day. You can get into those really easily. They're free to enter. Everybody can play. So definitely like there's so many events out there if you want to get into them, but like I said, just join my Discord if you want, and I can give you links to them. If you just like ping me, I can give you a link to any of those. Um, and Destroy obviously runs a lot of MKX events, both tournaments and like exhibitions all the time. So there's a lot of stuff out there for regardless of what game you play. So let's get into it though, boys. This is not the Losers Final just yet, but this is to get into Losers Final. King Gambler going up against Aztec. This is the top four of the event. Yeah, Rips Arena, of course, but he was here yesterday. So I, we, I think uh, most of the boys know him uh, from yesterday as well, but big shout out to Rips Arena as well. Here we go, game number one, Gambler Aztec. What a way to start the match, jump kick, command grab. I don't even know what to say about that one, that was weird. Oh, what's that? You said you want to go play Dark Tide with me after this, Wes? Yeah, <laughs> sure. All right, cool, we can hit that up. Very nice. Already, uh, Emperor Aztec. What is it, this guy's very sick. please buff? Oh, nah, hold on. Can we just stop the stream, DQ? We might have to bro, you. you should have slap him in the back of the head and tell him what the hell are you talking about, bro? Talking about please buff Kotal Khan. I'm about to boot up Rock Band right now and play on expert difficulty if he doesn't change that variation name. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, nice right there from Game Boy. He's got to make a comeback, but Sub-Zero, an amazing character at making comebacks. Oh, one, two disc. I love that choice. That's sick. Okay, keeps it meterless. Yeah, Gambler. Ha Can you do it, Gambler? Is it possible? It's definitely possible. Oh, never mind. Very nice. The grab headbutts him and uh, he's going to bless himself with the sun. Definitely was a possible comeback, but Gamble, I, you, when you're at that life, you have to do something that's risky. Like, you just have to. There's no other way. You can't win solid like that. No, you can't. Jump Good in. blocks right now. He goes for the creeping ice. Aztec. Oh! Wow, he committed to it too. Yeah, he was just going for it. I think it was like he looked like he was gonna get whiff punished, so he just presses it anyway. If it comes out, then it's gonna hit. Okay, let's see. Down three. Oh, that's like pressing some buttons right now. Nice parry and a punish. Are you serious? That was ridiculous. Wow, oh I'm surprised he didn't go for the unblockable uh, blade swipe that breaks the armor and yeah, gives him the Mickey D. It's actually not guaranteed from that KB though, so that's maybe why he didn't. Oh wow, nice damage though, 37% from Gambler. Got the life lead right now, he's looking good. But one hit from Aztec will kill. You can see him looking for it. Oh my god. Oh my god, two fatal blows on what? the screen. I can't watch, I can't watch. Wes Renator! Oh, oh! Armor breaks it. He armor broke the fatal, no way. Four two creeping us, I know it, no way. He actually did forward four and armor broke the fatal blow, are you serious? That is so rare. Final round. Fight. Very nice. That was a great choice. He tries to go with the ice ball, but oh. immediately escapes with the kitty cat air attack. Yeah, Aztec, he shows everyone why that move is so strong. Here we go, Ice Ball, call him neutral jumping. He's been doing that quite a lot, so good uh, good choice there from Gambler. Oh, wait. 
Four, two, four. Wait, didn't hold for the KB. I don't know what happened. He definitely didn't do it on purpose. That's why. Here we go. Aztec getting some pressure now. Command grab. Here we go. It begins, boys. Hey, meterless. Yeah, you still get a little bit of like Oki here. What the? Aztec is so hard to read. Wait nice a minute. Score. Oh, come on. See, we punish. Man, nobody has we punish that today. Yeah, yeah nobody. You you're, you're totally right about that. King Gambler definitely can do this. This is a 50-50 machine, the Sub-Zero Deluxe. Uh -oh. He tags him with a, st a down one immediately into the overhead. And here it is, confirms right into Fatal Blow. Wants to try to get as much damage on the table as possible before he loses his turn here. Yeah, go for the Fatal Blow there. If he does break away, he would have got, the, he would have got an armor break, which would have done so much damage. Overhead, he's dead. GG's. Wow. Wow. Gambler with a 50-50 game actually paying off you can see him bringing it out a little bit more in this like later on in the event he's brought up the 50 50s a little bit more but gambler takes the first game very nice stuff but aztec played it really well too like it was it was one hit from both player would have killed at that point well yeah what was crazy about that as well is you know this game doesn't really allow you to spend your defensive meter when you really want to you know you got to yeah, be yeah. airborne in, in order to break away from a combo yeah exactly. so Aztec was dead regardless of yeah, what yeah, the yeah. situation was. Yeah, he was done. He was done. But great stuff from Gambler with the awareness. Like, the way he used the, the Fatal Boy early as well, I like that. Gave him a 50-50 for the game as well. So, and he guessed right. So, Gambler, he's playing the slots right now. It's going in his favor. 1-0 over Aztec. This is to get into Loser's Final to play against Tweety. So, uh, Gambler actually did lose to Tweety earlier in the bracket. So, he does want to get that run back. I know he wants to get it for sure. But let's see, can he do it? King Gambler, Aztec staying with the same variation. Everything's the exact same. Different stage, of course. Here we go. Wow, look at that movement. It's like he's sliding on the screen <laughs> right now. Yeah, both it's of these weird. characters like that, huh? Both of these characters have crazy movements. Oh, went for the slide punish. Oh, unlucky input error. He got the parry going for a forward one there. Very unlucky. Oh, but yeah, I'm blockable. What the? It's kind of it's, it's kind of what happens when you buff in your input like that. Sometimes a lot of the uh, you know backing up they're doing, they can just screw up their inputs accidentally, like you just saw. Exactly right. Okay, let's see. Gambler's got a pretty good life lead right now, but can, can never count Aztec or Total Car now. That easy to make comebacks with this character. Let's see. Gambler, he's been playing very patient. Like, he's not really doing anything too crazy. Look at the movement right now. Here we go. What a read. Oh, oh he committed, though. He committed. Nice wall block. Dude, these guys are playing too good. 4 2 4. He doesn't have any mana, so no special cancels. Dude, these guys are playing so respectful right now. Yep. Oh, big damage. KB. Is it going to kill? Very nice. Yep. 37%. That is going to kill. Dude, almost 40% off of the side switch combo mid screen at that. The fact that Sub Zero has. Uh... You know, access to massive combos like that mid-screen blows my mind. Yeah, even without Rising Ice, like, I always think, when I think of Sub-Zero, I think nowadays, like, Rising Ice is the best, but Gambler almost never uses it. He he loves the EX Ice Ball, and he makes it work so well. Oh, we're going to see a trade. Yeah, he's going to get a combo slide. Maybe could have got more, but was a little far away. Hard to tell. Okay, this is weird now. What happens here? His health bar is going up. I don't know. Okay, it looks like he's not taking any damage at all. That might have been, uh... 0% combo King Gambler just dished out. I think it did a very small amount. Not not much to really take note of though. Okay, Aztec actually has the life lead. The uh the sun helped him out there for sure. Oh slide. I think I think KB's loaded. One more one more EX will kill. I one, mean, more one more EX will kill. One more EX will KB, that, sorry. That that is kill. Definitely, yeah, that's definitely food for thought here. I mean it might it might just kill! Now it will if he does overhead into it or something like what? that. He dropped the combo! Let's see. Oh, he, he you know he wants that slide. Oh, he went for it. Is this KB? No, oh no KB. Oh my god. Aztec. Oh, dead. Yep, dead. Wow. Aztec getting unfortunate there with a the dive kick whiff, but Gambler punishing easy. Forty fatal. Easy punish. Easy win at the end there. 2 0 for King Gambler. Just looking on a different level right now. Looking so consistent. GG's. I didn't think I'd be witnessing this. King Gambler really giving it to Aztec here. What is he? He's going up two games to zero, you said? Yeah, two games to zero right now. Aztec, uh, man, this is the loser's bracket, though. This is like where the game fives have been happening. So, you, who knows, man? Aztec can definitely bring this one back. But right now, I think Gambler just making a couple more reads that have been working out a little bit more. But Sub-Zero, I think Sub-Zero is a pretty good choice against Kodal with the X-Ice. Kind of slows him down in neutral with like the 4-2. It's not as much of a threat. 
Slide obviously just opens up a lot more in neutral as well. But Aztec sticking with the Kotal, of course. He actually has a really good Robo, but we're not going to see it in this event. He's going to commit to the Kotal. Let's see, what is the variation? Might be the same. I don't know yet. Let's have a look. It okay. should be interesting. Is it the same? I haven't same, even been yeah. paying attention. Same variation. Everything is the exact same for both players, of course. Game number three, potentially the last game of Aztec's tournament life. Let's see. This, no. is to get, this is to get into the money, by the way. So you want to win this one right now. What is it? Top three payout? Top three payout. That's right. So this match, this next match, you are guaranteed some prize money. And then obviously, yeah, the more you win, the more money you make after that one. So let's see. King Gambler, can you get into the money? Down four unblockable. Guaranteed right there. Man, I feel like something sick's about to happen. And Emperor Aztec is going to make a monumental comeback. Oh, the, wow, the movement, and he stopped his movement in his tracks with the back one fall. That was beautiful. Slide, start loading that KB up. Trade again, Slide. Dude, okay. Gambler. Gambler he's loading him up, right? Yeah, I think he's done He's done two. Oh, he's definitely done one so far. Nice tech, get off me. So hard to tech against Kotal, in my opinion, because he has that command grab. It's always like, you don't really expect like regular grabs. Yeah. Oh, 424. Dude, this is scary. One hit will kill. Well, game yeah, one. both of these both of these players just staggering each other right now. Nobody wants to overcommit. Tries to go for the low, but a beautiful block coming from Aztec. Nice. He's he dead. opens him up. That's death. Yup. And this might be yeah, match that point. That was so smart. For King Gambler. King Gambler now on set point. That was really smart because he didn't actually use the Fatal Boy. I thought he was just gonna go straight into Fatal, but he goes for the optimal uh, mid screen side switch. KB on the way. He's got two now. He's one more, and then it's KB. Yeah, this is looking like a great round for Gambler. Okay. Very good trade. Actually, no, not a good trade for Gambler, not for Aztec. Jump in. Nice anti air. Go to the armor brain. Yeah, side switch as well. That's why he went for it so early. This gets it more guaranteed right there. Okay, beautiful counter. Can he make a turnaround here? Yeah, he's looking good right now. Oh, no, he went for the fourth block for sure. Nice breakaway to avoid the KB. This is it. This is big. How much life does he have? 20% left. Oh, he committed. Wait, no punish. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Nice balls. Gambler just really needs one hit at this point. Anything will kill. Oh my god, the low. Gambler, what are these players crazy? doing, Yo! bro? 44. No, wait, that's not going to kill, right? No way. Sun rises. Bro, Aztec staying alive with the clutch sunlight on block. That was so Five smart. Rounds. He's a clutch. I can't believe like that it actually killed that fast. I thought he was going to survive a little bit longer, but Gambler gets the EX Ice Ball. Slide KB is ready. Oh, did he just go for it like that? No way, right? Went for it raw. He wanted to start this match off with an explosive I, rushing That might have been a but combo. Aztec said, no, you're not doing it to me, bro. Nice, fourth Very block. nice. Down two as well. That was so sick. I love the down Ooh, two. Ooh, there was a flawless block from King Gambler as well, but he didn't have the meter to launch him. Back three. Oh, he went for the grab. Nice back dash from Gambler. This is big. 50-50 time. Are we going to see it? Overhead slide. Are we going to see it? Oh, That's I, it. Gambler's okay. going gonna, gonna to take it. You know why? Because he told me before the match started that he's going to win. Let's see. Is he telling the truth? Aztec might be able to make this comeback. Oh, no, nah, GG's. Slide. Damn, it's over. KB, 40% King Gambler with a 3-0 over Aztec. Great performance from him, man. He played so good. Aztec actually played this one really well also. But Gambler just, just had a little bit of an edge in that set. Just had a little bit of an edge. Yeah, he really did. I mean, I didn't expect this match to go the way it did, especially with how well Aztec's been playing throughout the entirety of the tournament. But man, oh man, regardless... What a valiant effort, a valiant run. Emperor Aztec making it to top eight, to top four yep. in a majorly stacked tournament with 100 plus people involved. Yeah, and on top great. of that, you know, I got to say, it's very unfortunate, Wasminator. Imagine it making it this far and not getting in the money. Nah, he'd be salty. He'd be salty for sure. But man, that's you the way. You salty? No, nah, actually, Aztec doesn't get too salty, I think. He's, he's usually pretty chill about it. But I mean, if he won, then he, he all he had to do was win, bro. He just had to win. Uh, okay, hey. I just invited Tweety, so we we will just get straight into the losers finals as well. Um, shout out to over seven hundred people in here right now. Hope you guys are enjoying. We're now in the losers finals, so there's only potentially two more sets of the entire event left. So hopefully you guys are sticking around. Make sure you hit that like button so we can boost this stream up and get as many people as in here right now before the grand final starts. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying.
Thank you guys for being here, man. It's been a really fun event. Tweety has joined, so we're already getting straight into it. No breaks, no downtime right here. Reset if Gambler oh, wins. Oh, shoot. The He's... only downtime is me not backing out of the oh, King of the Hill. My bad, my bad, my bad. On, my bad, on. my bad. I'll back out to you. Listen, I had, you. A brain, I had a brain fart. My bad. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's all good. I'll um, I'll quickly just tell the boys. Tell them to stay in. Maybe I could join from here. Oh, no, I can't. No, nah, it's all right. I backed out anyway. They, sh they should be able to... They should be able to figure it out. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh wait, did they join the the the, the king of the yeah, hill? Yeah, yeah, they joined. That's why. Yeah. I didn't have to leave. No, nah, that's right. They backed out anyway. It's all good. Um, clockwork. Yeah, there's a link in the chat if you want to, bro. It's up to you, man. Okay, let me. I mean, in the description. Sorry, let me invite them now. I'll invite you as well, just so we'll get we'll all get in there. All right, boys. Right. Two more sets left. Potentially three if we see a reset. I don't know if we will because Mighty Unjust is looking. He's looking a little bit unstoppable right now. I don't know. We'll see. Someone said buff Ed Boon in the chat. What? Buff Ed Boon? I'm going to tell you right now. When they add Ed Boon to the next Mortal Kombat game and he's shooting eyebrows at you, you're going to be pissed. Because it's going to be OP and it's going to do 50% damage per eyebrow. <laughs> Someone in the chat said he's unbearable skill. Now he doesn't play MK11, I don't think. He's an MKX guy mainly. I don't think he plays MK11 at all. Okay, here we go. The boys are in. We're going straight into it. Let's go. This is Loser's Final. Top three of the event. Let me see who we're going to see. What characters are we going to see? Let me reset this. Okay, let's see. Who are the boys going to play? I think we'll see. These Sub guys already Zero. played earlier today. It was Sub-Zero versus Garrus. Geras. Tweety did win that 3-0, actually. So it was pretty dominant on Tweety's side. Let's see. Can we see the same... Uh, can we see the same result? Or can Gamble turn it around this time? I think these guys are both capable of winning the set. Tweety, obviously, after winning 3-0 before, looks like the favorite, but we'll see. Let's get into it. Who do you guys think is going to win? We're going to see. Let's go! We're going to see King Gambler with the Sub Zero or Tweety with the Garrus. Who do you think is going to win? Let me know in the chat. Let's go. Let's see one in the chat for Tweety, two in the chat for uh, King Gambler. It's going down Sub Zero versus Dark Side. The match you never thought you'd see. Good reach from Gambler to start it off. Of jumping over the grab. Load up that slide, KB. There it is. Already got one loaded. Tweety backing off. This is what he does in this matchup. He's now got the sand trap KB loaded actually, so if he gets the anti-air, anything, he'll go for it for sure. Okay, he's got that corner position. It looks like King Gambler wants to uh, get some vengeance on Tweety for that last match they had. Wow, oh! look at Gambler right now. There's no way, right? It's impossible. Yeah, that was GG for sure. Yeah, this is a revenge match indeed, and you're right. That was going to be one hell of a comeback if he made it happen. Because he had a Gambler, crazy life. Gambler life is thing. looking mad right now, and I agree. Gambler is looking pissed. He's coming up to the winner, up to the winner side. He's like, all right, let me step it up a bit. Let me take this. Oh, but Tweety getting a start now. Finally getting to play. What's the corner combo? Yo, we got, I think we just got a donation to the pot. Hold up, let me check. Right, I'll let I'll let that play while we check it out. Hold up. Okay, okay. Very nice. Oh, very nice. He kicks him back away oh, from the slide. corner. Not KB. One Into more. Into the side switch. One more slide will be KB. Is he going to go for anything risky to slide? Oh, man. This is looking good I for Gambler. I don't think so. I, I, I think Gambler wants to just take it nice and calm. Nice wow. and tranquilo. Look at him. Yeah, he played that one really good. First game going to King Gambler. Compared to the winner side when he didn't actually win a match, he's taking the lead in this set. So great stuff. The King Gambler taking the first game in this match, in this set, with the Sub-Zero as well, st st uh, still playing the same character that he lost with before, so good stuff to Gambler so far, sticking out, he's only won one match, um, he has to win three matches for this one, and the winner Somebody... of this will go to winner uh, go against Mighty Unjust in the Grand Finals. So. Somebody said they want a Popeye's chicken sandwich with extra thick pickles. Yo, where did I say that? Hold up. <laughs> you want one? Hey man, we don't even have Popeyes in Australia. Bit of an L. So what do you have instead of Popeyes? Man, I guess like KFC is like the only thing, right? There's not really, there's not really a Popeyes. There's not really a. a... You, got a you got a, you got a KFC over there? Yeah, we got the KFC. Here. We got that. Okay, here we All go. Right. Game number two. Same matchup, right? Yep. Yeah, Very nice. Same. Very nice. You want to know what? When I go to Australia, I want a crocodile burger. You can make it happen. That does exist. I swear. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, Tweety loading up that sand trap. He's already got two whips, I'm pretty sure. Oh, very nice. 
Wow, Clockwork donated fifty dollars and said to the Whoa. price said he, he said he wants Unjust to win buff spawn. I don't know about the buff spawn part, but thank you for the fifty. And hopefully Unjust can win on for you, mate. If you want to see Unjust win, hope, I hope it happens for you. Thank you for the fifty dono, man. I'll make sure to uh, give that to the players for sure. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, Spawn needs a buff with the amount of damage he does. And plus, Mighty Unjust makes that character look damn good. 100%. What a whip punish from Gambler, man. Speaking of damn good, Gambler is really making this look different. Like, compared to the winner set where he got 3 0 he's up right now. One round away from making this 2 0. He's stepping it up. Fight. A, playing very patient, just backing up here, tries to go for the low sand. Ooh. King Gambler. Good check. I like the down one. That's probably the best option to check with there. Oh my god, another grab. Gambler looking looking so confident right now. Oh, he went for the force block. You can see him like pressing block multiple times there. Oh, nice enter here. This is big. We might see side switch. I don't know. I don't know what you would do here. Okay, no side switch. Keeps it mid-screen. 35%. This is big. Hey. I mean, bro, so far the way King Campbell has been playing is a, a complete 180 from the last match they had, and it's actually blowing my mind. Like, what is he doing different? He's just, he's just been whip punishing so much. Wow, this, this is not going to kill out, actually. No. He's dead, bro! Almost. Oh! No way. Oh, the shimmy. One, two, shimmy. Gambler, are you serious? 2-0 right now. Compared to the 3-0, I can't believe the adjustments. Like, he's just been whiff punishing him so much. Like, in neutral, Twitty keeps running up, trying to grab, trying to press buttons, and Gamble ready with these whiff punishes. Looking so good right now. Also playing a couple mix-ups too. I think he's just playing a little bit more aggressive uh, when he gets up close, but his neutral game has been looking really strong as well. Gambler, one game away from moving on into the grand finals. Can he do it, Destroyer? What do you think? I think he can do it, and to tell you the truth, if he ends up getting into the Grand Finals, he's going to have a hard time going up against a player like Mighty Unjust. Uh-huh, for sure. Like, unjust, especially being in the winner side with that advantage. So if anyone that's new to tournaments, or if you've never seen like tournaments like this, the way it works is the, the person that's in the winner side in Grand Finals has like basically a set to work with. So if you're coming from losers, you have to win the first of three twice to win a tournament. Whereas if you're in winners, you just have to win it one time. So... Unjust definitely has an advantage, but Gambler, let's see if he can make it there, man. He's up 2-0 right now over Tweety, one of the best players in the world. He's doing really, really good. Let's see. Round one. Here we go. This is yeah, game I... number three. Potentially the last game of Tweety's life in the tournament. Potentially. I mean, if there were people that saw how their first match went, I promise you they wouldn't think it was going to go down like this the second time around. But King Gambler just proving and showing us why he is such a, a, a you know... A notable player just the way he's able to adapt the way he's able to adjust and just the way he he mixes everything up with sub-zero truly a threat to be reckoned with speaking of threats man look at Tweety right now with the throw he's been popping off he's like he's like all right you boys have, i had a little bit of a show with gameless 2-0 now it's my turn oh my god what a conversion. That double back too? the conversion was beautiful too with the ex i i love it nice Mixing it up there, so the, the reason the golden works there is when the floor block, uh, if Gambler tries to floor block, the golden will work. So it's like a little 50 50, but it's not great. Oh, wow, the oh, jump in. Oh, that's a punish, and he's dead. KB, yep, that's going to kill for sure. Gambler on set Making point. it unbreakable, or what, what do they call it? Yeah, um, what, what's that called? Yeah, unbreakable. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, but they, you can't you can, uh, roll out. You can't. It's not called breaker here. No, we, we just say Unbreakable, it's the same. Well, what is it called here? Breakaway. Breakaway. <laughs> man, man, if man forgot Breakaway. All right, here we go. You were saying, I was like, what are you talking about? I was so confused. <laughs> I don't remember. All right, here we go. Slide. Dude, look at Gambler right now. Oh, overhead connects. It's one hit. One hit will kill anything. All right, let's just go. Just invite my here just already. Nah, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait, I might have to send the invite right now. Witty, can you do it? Ah, oh, GG's right. No shot against a character like Sub Zero, bro. He needs a miracle. No, he nah, needs he needs it's, miracle. It's over, it's over. It's over, right? Tweety, come on. Bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. No. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. The ultimate comeback. Can he do it, Tweety? No. Oh. GG's. You know he had the right read. He actually did. It was just EX Ice Ball just a little too fast. Oh my gosh, Unjust, I mean, sorry, not Unjust. Unjust is waiting in the Grand Finals, but King Gambler with a 3-0 over Tweety. I did not expect this, like, 
it's literally flipped now. So Tweety beat him in the winner side 3-0. This time in the loser side, Gambler wins 3-0. So it's completely flipping the switch there. The adjustments must have been very important there. The adjustments were made. So Gambler very doing nice. really very good nice. there. I can't believe it. Okay, destroy. Stay in the lobby. All right, I got it. I'll invite him from here. Stay in the lobby. I'll stay in the lobby. And I just want to mention, man, huge shout outs to King Gambler. Huge shout outs to Tweety. Both of these players making it in the money. Mm -hmm. So regardless, win or lose, they are... Big chilling. Yeah, they gotta be happy for sure. Like Tweety, Tweety's played so many tournaments at this point. He's like probably kind of used to like he always usually is in that top three spot as well. So he's been he's been he played really good. Unfortunately, he is out. But Gambler, Gambler's stepping up, man. I, I've been saying for a while, Gambler is like on the same level as all these guys now. Um, especially once he transitioned to Sub Zero and is committed to it, he's just been playing so good. After Evo top eight, look at him now, top top two of this event, but. The one we really got to talk about, Mighty and Just sitting pretty in the grand in the grand finals winner side. So, uh, can man. anyone stop him? It, I, that's what I was about to say. Is it possible to beat him with two sets? I don't by know. the way, two sets you have to and, beat. And, him. and and you you know what's another thing that scares me about that player, Mighty Unjust? He plays so many freaking characters in Mortal Kombat 11. All of them at such a high level. It's like. He's got an answer for almost anything. And e even in the offline events he goes to, it shows, you know, the player is prepared. Him and his brother, El yeah. Kukui. Yeah, they're ridiculous. El Cookie Monster? Both El Cuckoo? El Cuckoo Crazy? El Coco Puffs? <laughs> Both of them <laughs> ridiculous Sub players, but King Gambler, let's see. Can he do it? Jackie okay, Briggs. let me get these names fixed up. Looks like Unjust is going with the uh, with the Jackie Briggs against Sub Zero. I don't think we've seen him play against Sub at all, right? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see if I. Oh, let me fix that up. Actually, Mighty Unjust is in the winner's side. W. And we'll just fix Gamblers right there. Boom. All right. Fire. Okay. Boys, it's grand finals time. Battle of Legends, 120 plus players, $500 prize pool. We have come down to the final two players of the event. Here we go. Unjust versus King Gambler. Gambler in the loser side has to win two sets. Mighty Unjust only has to win one set if he wants to close this out and take the most money of the event. But here we go. Jackie vs Sub-Zero. Let's check it out. Oh my god. The moment everyone's been waiting for. The grand finals match between two knuckleheads. We got King Gambler. We got the Mighty Unjust. Sub-Zero versus Jackie. I'm hyped. Are you? Oh, you're not? Don't go. Then leave. Very good throw. He goes for the down four. Oh my god, did you see the range of that overhead? That was like literally max range. That was so good. Wow, the one, two, four. This guy's both even on life right now. Gambler, he's like, hold up. I might be able to beat on Just. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, the jumping. That's oh no, that's already closing out round number one with the Jackie Briggs. He's been going balls to the wall crazy all night tonight, Waz. Man, or for unjust, you all morning. Yeah. Unjust with this Jackie Briggs is just looking so unstoppable. Honestly, even his Kano was the same though. Like, I feel like it doesn't matter what character this guy picks. He's so good with all of them. Oh, nice. It really is. Too. Look at the walk back. That was beautiful. That was so smart. Okay, the one, two, shimmy. Yeah, he tried to jump out of that one, I think. With punish again. Oh. He should not even whip on this guy once. He should waste a crushing blow. Yes. Oh, no. It, it was in the corner, so it's a little bit... Like, the combo's a little different, so it's kind of tricky. Oh, but it doesn't okay. even matter, right? Like, look at his life bar right now. He's dead. Is he dead in that? that that's chip out. Or he's probably dead from the... Oh, from the my group, God. The Destroyer, Mighty Unjust is ridiculous right now. Jackie Already serious? going up game number one. That was kind of like a speed run, bro. Dude, Mighty Unjust has been speedrunning every match of this bracket. Like, he's just cooking everybody. Wow, for real? Mighty Unjust up 1-0. I'm going to look at the bracket right now, but I feel like every set he's had has been a 3-0. I could be wrong. I'll tell you what. I can't believe it's not butter. Okay, it's actually true. Okay, so... Mighty Unjust, the player with the Jackie right now, has not lost a single so game zero. in this event. Not one match. He's won every set 3-0. So he is ridiculous. He that that consistency is so hard to have, and he's got at the highest level of the game in North America right now. He's up one zero. He has not lost a single match. Like he's literally him. He's him. He's that guy. He is that guy. One zero right now for Unjust. Two games away from being the champion of the first Battle of Legends MK11 event. Trying to get the most money possible. But Gambler, I'm not going to count him out yet. He's a really good player. He can definitely make this adjustment. I don't know, man. Mighty Unjust, he's trying to look at Unstoppable right now. You might have to pull out the best Shao Kahn player, <laughs> NA, to beat him. 
You're gonna need something crazy to beat this guy. Like, it, it, is it, isn't Shao Kahn a good matchup for Jackie? I actually do not know about that matchup at all. I actually got. Oh, oh, okay. I don't even know. I, I've never really seen it that much. But here we go. I'm jumping. Very nice. Go. Already tagging him with some massive damage here. Forty percent, bro. This character's broken. Did you know that? Yeah, we. I think we knew that one. Oh no, he confirms the gambler. That would have been big. Okay, gambler slide. Yeah, have to slide there. Only option you can get. Oh, the movement was sick. Okay, this will kill. One, two, four. Oh, it doesn't even need it. Oh wait, hold on. Unjust. I think you might have just. I think you might have just commentators cursed him. Oh, I thought he was gonna spend the KB. He's being greedy. Oh my god. No. Oh, he he, he could pay the price for this one. Oh. Oh my god. Unjust. Don't do comeback? this, bro. Oh wow! wow. The jump back kick. Are you serious? That was such How a did he know option. that was gonna work? That was a weird option that I did not expect to see. You never see a sub zero play doing jump back kick. Okay, forward one. Oh, that was great patience. He blocked both of them. That was really good. Gambler, hold on. Trying to get that reset right now. Nice. One, two, four. KB, 40%. Beautiful stuff. Okay, one, two. Oh, nice from my just. That was really good. And he goes for the down two to avoid the breakaway. He wanted extra damage on that. Yeah, smart choice. Breakaway. Oh, good block. Oh my god. Look at the punish on this one. This is going to be big damage. Hey, hey. Almost 40%. Okay, he keeps it. He ends it early to get that knockdown with the, uh, the goal on the floor. Look at the damage. That was on this actually grab. genius because now he's dead from chip out. Yo, no, that was so cheap. That was so and cheap. And he trapped him with even more blue stuff. Yeah, he, you could see he just spent two bars in the air just to stay up there, right? Like, because that way you're just stuck. Like, there's not much you can really do against it. Nice For real? What the hell Gambler. was he supposed to do against all that goof on the screen? Gambler might have, like, the best conversions of Sub-Zero like, in the world. I think he does, actually, for sure. With the EXI score, he does not miss a conversion. It's so good. Look at the pressure right now from Gambler. He's gone for that reset. Okay, Gambler, can you get on the board? Oh, yeah, this is good for him. Unfortunate there. Kind of committed to the creepy nice. Okay, wait a minute. Gonna make an incredible read. Finally getting an opening here. King Gambler's been doing a real good job at avoiding uh, Jackie Briggs' damage. That oh, dead? is he dead? No, no KB. But one EXR, anything will kill now. So many things can kill for, for, for Gambler. He's looking like he's gonna take this one. Uh oh. There's just no way. Unjust, please. Nice, one, two. Wow, what a choice. Gambler getting on the board, taking it, taking the first match, the first player to get a match against Mighty Unjust in this event. Wow, very nice, very nice. That was very nice indeed. I mean, King Gambler definitely showing us that he has the potential to reset this bracket and send Mighty Unjust to the loser side with him. Very nice stuff very from Gambler. Very much doable. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely looking doable. Like, it was hard to see where it could go before because Unjust hadn't even so lost a match in the tournament yet, but. Now we can see that it's possible, right? Gambler gets a game on the board. It's 1-1. One, one. Uh, somebody in the chat asked if it's a uh, first to three or five. It's first to three. Gambler is in the loser side, so he has to win first to three twice if he wants to win the event. Um, so it's a very, it's a very, it's a very like hard situation for Gambler. But regardless, I think he can do it, especially after that game, showing that it is possible for him to win a match. But Gambler, can he do it again? Can he do it two more times though? That's the question. Fight. I don't think he can do it two more times. I think he can do it three more times. Let's see. Let's see. No, he has ice balls. He just keeps it meterless. It's interesting that he's not really spending the meter on the ice ball. Considering how fast he is. I don't think he wants to waste that resource. He wants to have it for something a little more uh, for like a clutch moment, it seems. Yeah, maybe even just sort of slide KB. He's been, he's been using that quite well in a lot of these matches. So he could be just saving it for that too. Wow, look You're at this. Totally this is a weird right. match. This is a weird match right now. They're both, they're literally both holding back. But yeah, unjust. What the hell? One, one, one of them needs to make the approach. And just like that, a clean jump in. I'm pretty sure King Gambler tried to go for an anti air, but just bit the dust for it. Very unfortunate. My God, the mighty unjust just unleashing all of the pressure Jackie has to offer. He's it dead, seems right? like King Gambler cannot yeah. escape this corner for nothing. No, nah, it's actually so crazy. That is that is the power of Jackie right there. Like even when the combo is over, you're not really like safe because the the damage is on the ground, it's still burning you. Hey, hey. Okay, here we go. Called one two. Yeah, only does one leap this time. He's mixed it up quite well. It's it's really hard to read unjust his pressure. Nice flawless block. He wants slide. Is that gonna KB? No KB. Just mm, keep yeah. it in nice and simple. King Gambler right now, really opening up the mighty unjust in this corner. 
Oh, what's that? Somebody gonna go? Oh, it goes oh you're the in pain. We might see KB now. Oh, I think he dropped it. He, yeah, he definitely went for it. I think he dropped it a little bit late. Oh my god. I'm, can Gambler get this one? Hold on. Unjust has a chance, but it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really hard. Grab. It begins. It's really only two hits now. It's actually not that unlikely. Oh, the jump back again. Overhead. Nice stuff from Gambler. Gambler getting one more. He's one round away from getting the set lead right now. It's possible for sure. Final round. Wow, let's see what happens. I mean, if King Gambler ends up going up two games to one on Mighty Unjust, that could be a good sign of a bracket reset. It's looking possible right now. They're both pretty even. They literally both have a round and both have one game. So it's super even right now. But Unjust, look at all the damage on the floor. It just forces you to walk away if you have to walk away from it. Unless, you, unless you're just going like, to give them free damage, you have to stay behind it. There we go. Gambler trying to get away from it. 1-1 one, one plus frames. 1-1 one, one again. Oh man, unjust pressure is so good, but Gambler with the check. Oh shoot. Incredible breakaway. Did not want that KB to get loaded or uh, dished out there. I don't know if he has it yet, does he? Um, he doesn't have it yet. No, he does not have it yet. Let's see. Just backing man, away yeah, slowly. Such a slow matchup Gets right now. Jump in. He had a hit confirmed, but didn't commit to it. Look at the rage from Unjust. That setup is so cheap. This set, even if they break, it like just puts them in it anyway, regardless. Oh, this is it. Gonna set up another one on the ground? Yep. This is looking really good for Unjust right now. Look at all the damage on the ground. You can see Gambler so scared to go in it. Oh! Oh! No. Oh! You can make this happen! No, Destroyer. There's no way. Bro, this is Sub-Zero. There's definitely a way. One hit. I don't, I don't know if Slide KB is there. I don't know. If it's there, then it, oh, he doesn't have meter for it, though. Grab, escape failed at GG's. Yeah, there's no way you can get out of that. Wow, Mighty Unjust. That was actually really close. It was possible. But Unjust just gets a clutch throw tech. Get off me. Two to one, Mighty Unjust. One game away from taking the entire event. Now he just needs one more match to close this out. Can he do this? He does have two chances as well. Even if Gambler wins the game, he still has another chance to, to save it before the reset happens. So, man, Unjust is looking really strong right now. But Gambler, like, that was one hit away from winning. So, both of these players are playing ridiculous right now. This is the Grand Finals. If you're just tuning in right now, this is the Grand Finals of the event. Unjust in the winner's side. He's one game away from winning the entire event. If you've missed any of the matches, after this set ends, you can just go back and watch it all. Live stream VOD will be there on my channel. The top 32 VOD's also there, so you can just go back and watch any of the matches if you want. Can we call it a tie? Not, not yet. We should just call it a tie, end the stream, and everyone just goes home. Imagine, call it a tie to split the, split the money. Okay, yo, what's up, split Senna? No, but, 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 but you split the money between us. All right, <laughs> yo, let's go. We're eating good tonight, boys. Okay, here we go. Next game, this is game number four, right? Yeah, game number four, I'm just in the winner's side. Hey. Okay, here we go. And Unjust is looking really good. Go. Starting the round with a lot of pressure. Big, pretty decent life lead. Oh, the big whiff though. These guys are pressing. There's the KB. We're going to see a break. Even if there was a break, it doesn't matter. This is going to kill. Yeah, he's dead. Oh my god. I, yo, bro, that was one of the fastest rounds I've seen yet. We he's might need down. a moment of silence for the King Gambler going into this oh last match. We, we got to drop the spirit bomb to the homie right here, right now. Yeah, because guys. he doesn't have much opportunity. Press some buttons in the chat right now if you want to see Gambler win. He needs the energy right now. He's, he's one round away from losing. He needs a spirit bomb. Drop a W in the chat if you want to see Gambler take this one. There's the slide. He's, he's feeling the energy, bro. I don't even want to commentate this right now, Waz. I'm scared. Here we go. He goes for the leap. Nice floor block. That was sick. Jump in. Oh, there's a whip. Yo, we got a big oh donation. God. Someone said destroyer, bro. I miss you in MK11. Hold up. Aww. Thank you for the donate, man. Oh, tell him I said, oh. <laughs> Very good throw. He's gonna throw escape. Oh. Nice grab. Unjust. He's almost two hits away from taking this. Now, one more hit will be in a really good spot for him. You can see him just running. He's holding the neutral. He controls the space with that goo on the floor. Like, he, he gets to decide what to do. No, I feel like one more touch, one more opening from nice. my other. Oh, all this block. Nice. That was sweaty. God. He's off a defensive meter, so now this is going to get real serious here. Yeah, the drive King Gambler is going off of the defense meter. He's going to have to hold all of this pressure, and whatever combo comes next, it could potentially kill. Nice oh, throw Get off me. One hit will kill for both players now. Oh, bro. Get off me again. <gasps> That's dead, right? Fatal. Yo, Gambler. No way. The armor break. He's dead. He's so dead. 
Okay, oh lives to see God. another match. He lives to see another match. You'll love to see it. Oh my God, he's alive. He stays. If he wins this match and resets Fine. the bracket, that's gonna be so Fight. insane. Gambler, feeling the energy from the chat from the chat right now. Oh, there's the Gudo. Hold on. Hold on, Unjust. Unjust has a spirit bomb of his own. He wanted a flawless block, but I don't even think he had here hey. for it. Oh, punish? Yeah, slide. Is that not KB yet, but he's loading it up. He's loading it up. Gambler just backing off, playing so smart right now. Both of these players playing ridiculous. Oh, Whoa! Didn't confirm he was looking for it, but that was a nasty snipe. 2-1. Creepy nice. Yeah, it's good choice there from Gamba. Oh my god, this is scary for both players, man. Nice! Down two! I like that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Dude, one hit. One hit, I think. Are we going to see any KBs? Oh, he mashed out on the plus frames. He actually pressed. Oh, not dead. Not dead. Went for the shimmy, the reset instead. Ah, uh, he's dead. GG's. Mighty Gigi's. just takes the event. That's it. Wow. Jackie Briggs. And he caught him with one hell of a brutality. Mighty Unjust, your battle of the legends champion. Taking it over 100 plus players. This dude is a demon. Actually ridiculous. And in doing the whole in the whole event, he only lost one match, and that was in the final set. One match the entire event. So he beat every single person 3-0. And then he beat Gambler 3-1. So he lost literally one match the entire event. Proving his dominance and how strong he is in the NA region. One of the best players, 100%. But big congrats to Unjust. Thank you to everybody who entered. Gambler, well done on getting second place. I know these guys will come back for another event for sure. But man, what a what a crazy tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Um, did you guys enjoy the event? Let me know. Let me know in the chat right now. Let, let's go crazy in the chat. Drop a GG's if you enjoyed. Before we go, before we go quickly... Destroyer, I just want to say thank you for coming on. Thank you for commentating. It's always it's always hype. People love when you got when you get on the mic, you know. We want to see it more. So thank you for coming through, bro. If you want to right now, the floor is yours. Let people know about your channel, what you do there. Go crazy. Let them know. I want to say shout out to Wazmator for hosting this awesome event for Mortal Kombat 11. You know, it's people like him and 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 everyone else who hosts community events to keep these games alive. And I just want to say shout out to everyone that pulled up to watch this instead of the Super Bowl. And I also want to say, uh, if you want to check me out, you can do so by checking me out at Destroyer FGC. And that's it, man. Thank you for inviting me Thank here. You, this was awesome. Thank you. The man. matches were awesome, and it was a fun time. Thank you so much for coming, man. I'll I'll definitely put all your links in the description as well. So guys, go check out Destroyer. Thank you, man. I'm gonna thank jump you. out of this call now before we uh wrap it up. But thank you again for coming on, man. I seriously appreciate it so no much. No problem. Thank I, you, bro. you better end the call now because I'm about to take my pants Yo! off on stream. Get him off here. Get him off here. Get him off here. Hey, there we go, boys. That is the end of the event. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Seriously, thank you guys for coming through. If you're still sticking around, um. That is basically the end. Unfortunately, there's no more matches. It's over 100 players. It is GG's Mighty Unjust. Well done, mate. You played so good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the production, the event, the whole thing. I really tried to uh, make this as like high quality as possible. It's my first time running a big event like this. I've never ran... I've never actually ran a big tournament like this. So it's my, literally my first, my first event pretty much outside of like the top eights I did a while back. So... I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yo, if you're in here right now, please drop a like on this stream, man. I want to try and make this stream go kind of crazy and try and get this to be a big, like, a big stream video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everybody that played, unfortunately, I don't know why I keep saying unfortunately. Um, everybody that played in the event, just want to say thank you guys. Don't worry, there'll be more. If you're on another platform, don't worry, there'll be more. Just chill. I got you with more things coming. Um, run more events. You'll see more events. I want to try and do at least one a month, okay? So we'll try and do that. If you're not in the Discord already, I'm gonna put the link to the Discord in the chat. Get into the Discord if you're not in there right now. Unfortunately, this is the end. Nah, but for real though, thank you guys for watching, man. I'm gonna be posting like YouTube videos on the main channel of highlights of the stream. So there'll be some highlights coming out. Um, there'll be a lot more things coming out as well. Um, thank you guys so much for coming through. I'm just gonna end it there. Uh, again, congratulations to Mighty Unjust. Thank you, everybody that played. We had almost a thousand viewers in a stream, which is actually crazy. If you want to be a part of these, just join the Discord. You'll see all the announcements there. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later, guys. Have a good one. Oh, by the way, drop a comment on the video when it ends. When the stream ends, drop a comment. I'd appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Much love to you all. See you soon.